Yeah, so we're good now. We're good. Okay. Do you guys um, see any of like what? No, go I was ahead. gonna say I have like no topics. Uh, I have a couple. You added like two, I think, over the past week. I had a bunch. That I don't remember at all. Damn. I've literally was... just been in bed, guys. I'm, just, I'm dying. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Sorry. We're going back to another episode of the NPC podcast. NPC. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's somebody, what we are now we're an npc <laughs> podcast somebody commented that on a that your npcs on a, on yeah. A, yeah on one of our videos which video i, don't, I think it might have i been don't a remember clip. there's there's two but videos some there. guy was like this is an npc podcast and i was like that's funny there's, that's that's a good one i mean i don't know i think you guys talk about interesting stuff I, it doesn't it's not really like npc i mean from i feel like uh, you could say that from like maybe clips but yeah okay actually <laughs> now that you mentioned that yo i saw like five clips of you just talking about drake and i i actually yeah, got mad. yeah. i actually got mad I, why the tiktok's yo, like there's, six there's seconds more. long i cut one short <laughs> <laughs> I could there's more coming sec- bro it's no. actually crazy like the one where you okay like the first one i saw yeah was you being like it was steven actually he's like yo bishoy had an account where he followed like every single like drake account yeah you knew I, this yeah i knew that i knew that which is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Um, I expect you to talk about okay. things I know. Yeah, it's going to happen. I'm like, okay, you know, that's funny. Yeah, it's a good good topic. Yeah. And then I saw another one, and it was like you dissecting a bar or something. I don't remember. I, uh, no, it was me saying you're not a Drake fan if you... Oh, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, that one pissed me the fuck off. Why? Yo, I that's facts. To, I got offended. You don't like the mainstream, like, fans, bro? Like, you like them? That like his radio shit, guys. Yeah, this, his radio shit is the reason why he's big, bro. This can't be the third episode yeah, yeah, in yeah. a row where we talk about Drake. <laughs> this is why it's an NPC podcast. Yeah, that's yeah this true. is okay. Well, we talk yeah. about yeah. talking about we talk about the same two topics with Bashoy. Uh, it's either dr- Drake yeah. or public transportation. <laughs> that's I don't know. That's facts. I don't know how, but we'll do like hours of recordings, and we'll and always s- come back to somehow. Bashoy is like, yo, public transportation or Drake. And it's the same conversation we have over and over. Okay, but it's what if one episode it's just Drake on public transportation? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Drake on the go bus? Drake on the TTC. <laughs> yeah, bro. Drake promoting public transportation. No, yeah, that's yo, not go on, bro, go Yeah, on. Drake <laughs> investing in public transportation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, that's not as good. That's not as good. I mean, I have a couple of topics. Yeah, I'm going to just... Yeah, hit us. Are you guys are in the notes? You guys could pull it up. Uh, <laughs> bro, my wrist hurt, bro. Fuck. Nobody wants to pull it up. <laughs> I, bro, I uh, didn't put my phone away. I got, um, bro. I don't know if you guys know this. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe it's for the young kids. Be real. <laughs> yeah, yo, I, I, I just uh, came back. Were you on Be, on Be real. real the entire time? Like, what did you, you ever stop Be Real? I still use it. Yeah, but there was so Be Real. I think started. I remember. Because me and Bishoy were one of the pioneers yeah, of bro. Be Real. Uh, okay, hold on. Is the last entry here Circle Jerk? <laughs> um, no, Wait, there's what? one under it called the uh, Lakers Warriors Dog. Okay, just yeah. wanted to clarify. No, but one of Sorry. them is. Yeah, one of them is. We can get to it. Yeah, I'm good, actually. We'll continue on Be Real. We'll come back <laughs> yeah, to Circle yeah, Jerk. Yeah, yeah. Let's I have Be Real, real and then we'll Circle Jerk yeah, after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Circle Jerk back to it. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Bro, what can I say, bro? Office job, office job. That's what you guys <laughs> office talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, if somebody so, says cir- let's circle back to something, that's like hella passive aggressive. Like yeah. it's insane. It's so I love it though. Uh, passive aggressive like uh, office talk is like a beautiful like skill. Yo, especially when you learn it. I feel like when you like when you start to pick, you up, pick up on, on it, it and yeah. you start using it, bro, you yeah. feel so nice. Yeah. Oh, bro, I'm chief duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I love duly noted. Like yeah. every time I see somebody Fuck with me doing something dumb, yo, duly noted, bro. Yeah. Oh, they got so mad. They got so mad. That's actually like the middle finger in like office work. Like if somebody's yeah. like says something and they're like and you say duly noted, it's like actually like the double bird. Yeah, it's like it's really like when Marco says something, I'm like, yo, who, bro? It's, <laughs> it's, it's exact same. It's, it's exact same. Who. It's, it's like actually the exact same effect. Actually, the who. Um, yeah. What else? What else do you guys like do? That's like, I fucking hate. I don't do this, but my coworkers, some of them will be like, oh, that's Monday's problem. Fuck you. It's Monday. Yeah, wait, what? Get to it now. (laughs) You lazy fuck. You lazy bitch. (laughs) Yeah, like shit. No, Um, there's every single person, if it's a Friday, there's there's always the same person. If it's a Friday, they're like, oh, happy Friday. And then if it's a Monday, they're like, Monday's ugh. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, bro, like that's that's the entire. They say that every week. Yeah, yeah. I've been at this job for years, and every week they're like, <laughs> Mondays, eh? Or like, 
I always say happy I'm Friday. It's Friday. I don't, I don't complain Friday. about Monday though. Like I don't. Yeah, I just say happy Friday. Yeah, so you're like so a saying. neutral Monday enjoyer, yeah. and a really excited Friday enjoyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Oh, okay, like, okay. And like, uh, like even on afternoons and stuff. Like, I if I ever like have a meeting or anything, I always tell them like, oh guys, I don't want to bug you too much. Like it's Friday afternoon. Like I'd, I'd be so mad if I. I get. <laughs> oh. As soon as, every time I'm in a meeting and it goes anywhere longer than it needs to be because somebody's saying something irrelevant, I get so cheesed. No, yeah, no, that's, same. But that's why I make sure I cut it shorter. Oh, like, yeah, if yeah, that's. Yeah. If you're leading the meeting but that's if you're not leading the meeting then it's such a, a difficult thing but i always my favorite is uh and out of respect for everybody's time i think we oh, should yeah. i think we should circle back to this at a different date or let's schedule holy, a different holy. meeting holy. that's how you that's also that was a crazy. Bitch. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that was actually <laughs> crazy that was actually you just basically told that person yo talk fucking faster bro <laughs> you're so slow no no, 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 no not no. even stay on track you fucking that's bitch true. you that's irrelevant true. motherfucker if we're trying to fucking do this meeting <laughs> so angry those guys so angry yeah. no no but if they're scheduling an hour meeting and we spend half of it talking about this guy's like weekend plans. Yeah. And then we go over time where he's just going all over the place. Then I'm sorry. You've lost me. It's like, bro, time to circle back, bro. Yeah. It's time. It's time <laughs> to schedule another meeting and like figure your stuff out and then get back to me. But bro, this, I never say this if it's just me and him or me like a one on one meeting. If this is if it's like a group meeting. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll maybe yeah. like mention that. It depends bro, on the mood. Sometimes people like even just go off on like a tangent. Like they ask one question and then they stay stuck like discussing that one question. I'm like, bro, fuck you, man. Like and then and then that extends the meeting longer and then Yeah, it's I don't eat lunch. <laughs> Yo, I had to <laughs> do that two lunch. days ago and I was so cheese. What not but eat lunch? To, yeah, bro, I had to work. I worked from home, first yeah. of all. So the fact that I was so busy that even working from home I couldn't eat is actually insane. Damn. I worked just nine hours straight. Bro, just like inject the food into yeah. your mouth <laughs> like so, like, just, eat, so eat yeah way to go <laughs> no <laughs> but like like if you have time to piss you have time to eat i didn't have time to piss damn that's not that's not <laughs> nah, yeah, actually, at that point a, there's a, there's no saving like <laughs> bro i have a gamer chair bro it's like a toilet on there oh okay. you gotta you gotta piss in there yeah. <laughs> you do a little tuck catheter yeah, it's, it's a race car seat on the top and then just a toilet <laughs> under on the bottom <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bowl under <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have a catheter connected? Just no, it's oh, no, bro. Oh, wireless it's catheter. right there. Oh, wireless Yeah, bro, come on, bro. I look like, bro, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I look broke. That's so funny. Yeah. No, but back to the back to the be real. Yeah. The young kids are all on it. Actually? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> what is this assessment coming from? <laughs> I just say, like, I feel like I'm older. I feel like I'm... I don't know. I feel... I it feel wasn't like too long ever since we used it. Like, we used it, like... Two years ago, these kids. I man. think, yeah, twenty twenty one. Yeah, because no, no. Back to what I was saying. Be real popped off, or not popped off, but like it started like May twenty twenty one. We pioneered it, by the way. Yeah, we, out of all my friend groups. Yeah, we we, like, we, were, the that, we were the first. We were yeah. the first. Um and. Be real if you're listening, you could sponsor this podcast. That's true. You could you could actually go back you into my us. you could go back into my be real and find because it shows you like the gallery. Oh, the of first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can see the first one. It'll be like mid early May of 2021. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. Oh, Bro, I'm, I'm pretty oh, sure we could scroll. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm not doing oh, that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's actually on, that's crazy. That's yeah, that's yeah. a tough one. That's yeah, tough it's one. super tough. Super let's, tough. Wow. It's yeah, super let's not go with the actual. Okay, let's not. Yeah, I did it once, like by accident. Yeah, yeah, bro, I, I was, can't imagine. I was that, bro. I was shitting, pissing, crying, throwing up, bro. The whole, yeah. the whole nine yards. Oh. Wow, those are terrible memories. Um, I'm, I might be real as the exact same as it was years ago, to be honest. Yeah, bro, I had, like, looking back at it, I had some bum-ass days. And I, to be honest, I still do. Like, uh, yeah, that's, that's so what I'm saying. consistent days where I'm just in my room, just, like, fucking chilling. That's what I'm saying. Like, nothing has changed, like, two more, years bro. ago. We need to do more. <laughs> Yo, you guys actually do need to do more. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Damn, no, I'm actually cheese. I'm actually cheese. You know, the other day, bro, I was driving around on my ones. I'm like, this? bro, how do I have a group of eight guy friends? And I can't go out with any of them because they're just it's Discord exclusive. Like these guys are actually e friends. No, I'm always I'm always down to go out. I'm like literally always down. I never turn down a motive. Like it's not real. Bro, but they are doing disturb all the time. Bro, you Sorry? don't understand the parasocial relationships that we have formed. What par- well, I don't even know what that We're, means. Bro. Yeah, that's just, like, yo, that's just like a buzzword. Guys, just pulling right up big words. <laughs> bro, that's actually- that corporate leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> yo, bro. Yo, I, for the respect of our time, bro, we're gonna circle back to that next, <laughs> yeah, yeah. next podcast. We're okay. gonna circle back to fucking no. parasocial yeah. relationships. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking up the definition. You know what's crazy? What I don't know the definition of parasocial. I feel like I, I know that, but I know there's a social like- media that was named. Wait, actually, I think so. Really? It was what? like it was like. If IG like and Twitch app? had a baby, yeah. Oh, 
It's called parasocial or something social. But I know start the first letter started. With yeah, I know ad, truth but... social. You know that one? Isn't what that like the Donald Trump? Yeah, one? Kanye one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah, bro. I swear, Kanye was about to buy it or some shit. I don't know. Like it's an app. It's a social media app. Yeah, that's like super conservative. Yeah, oh. there's a. I think there's a Canadian version of it called like Rumble. Oh no, no, Rumble's not Canadian. <laughs> it's not. No, oh, you, but you have it. <laughs> well, Rumble's uh, like a live streaming slash YouTube platform. Like they're they like um, Jideon's on Rumble now. Uh, so Nico. because he's on it, it's not Canadian. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure it's not because like you know the Steve will do it guy. He's like super friends with the like the owner of it. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure like it's just a states thing. Mm. Jeremy Renner has his own app. Do you guys? Jeremy Renner, the guy that oh, plays Hawkeye. Uh, okay. I think Why is like... this guy all over my fucking Disney Plus, bro? Jeremy Renner? Yes, bro. He dropped like five shows or something. Didn't he almost die? Yeah. He got like run over by a yeah, snowplow. Yeah. Oh, I thought he did die. That's why. <laughs> They're just pushing him on the... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, that's the time to capitalize on like... If you yeah, want to make yeah. money. Bro, it's like better than a flash sale. <laughs> oh my god i mean yo sadly it that's the, that, that's the that's case true. though like uh, yeah. like a lot of like even artists whatever whenever they pass away bro one i just saw recent or like i remembered recently <clears throat> bro you guys remember august ames the porn star yo rest in peace bro she's actually at bro that. bro she she went number one on pornhub when she passed away yeah which is so fucked up because at yeah. least like all the other ones you could say like they're supporting whatever bro like this is legit porn they're literally just watching her porn they're supporting like uh, it's, her. It's, her, it's her yo to be fair like it is her work it is, is it i fucked? guess but is like, it fucked yes it is fucked yeah am i gonna do it again yes <laughs> <laughs> no but the fact that like it just peaked at the moment of yeah like, you that, know what i mean yeah, like no. it's just like bro that's crazy yeah uh, back to be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, bro. A little tangent. I just had a yeah. like. I just wanted to know. Did you use be real that entire time? Because me and Bashori had a like a we year break. We stopped for like yeah, a while. Al- almost like a year break. But I'm now I'm like trying to get back into it. But it's like so hard. It feels like you know, like the, all the kids are doing it. I'm like maybe I should get on it. Bro, no kids are doing. <laughs> yeah, you keep saying bro, all the you kids. Keep, you keep, drop, you keep actually keep you? dropping the statistic. <laughs> it's not a step. Like, has anybody younger than the age of like twenty is like a kid? To be honest. I don't think I so. I mean, we're kids, like, realistically, but I just feel Yo, old. Yo, bro, how does it feel not being kids for, like, yeah, two years? Yeah, I know. <laughs> bro, <laughs> years, three years for some of us. Bro, I, I feel like I'm a lot older. Old, Orally? I feel like I'm a lot older than I actually am. Yeah, me too. Like, you're an old soul? <laughs> like, I feel... Bro, I, I, because of Bovid, I feel like we got robbed from, like, two, three years. Wait, why are you saying Bovid? Does it flag on the... No, but I oh. just... Um, I'm trademarking it. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> sure <laughs> but yo like I, the, like those two three years i feel like we're completely robbed of like i feel like right now i'm 20 21 like i'm i'm okay to fit there no no i i don't think i could say that i definitely feel well to be fair going into bovid i felt older than like i felt like i was older than my age than now or like no than now when you were... no like it's because your argument is like mm-hmm. oh like those two years that got robbed from you make oh you feel like so you're so now athlete. you feel like you're in place yeah oh okay yeah okay. I'm, I'm right where i should yeah been. <laughs> what about you alignment i always feel like i'm older than i actually am always yeah like, like even, even before bovid even uh, now yeah now i feel i feel like super old for some reason i don't know why yeah i think I mean, a lot of it has to do with getting a full-time job and, not, and getting yeah school. that too that's too. you like you definitely felt older when you were doing your work and now that you're back no you probably feel younger no no bro did you know still still yeah i I feel like i feel old now i had to file my taxes this year yeah that's when i felt like super old i was like wow i gotta do my own taxes well get an account stay Uh, i actually (laughs) stay stay (laughs) young i actually did my taxes um like the same thing i do every year but this time it was like super wrong like i was like way like oh, so in, you got fined huh you got fined no no i didn't like i did it and i was like yo this looks super wrong i'm like i need, i have to pay back so much money i was like there has to be something wrong yeah so i paid an accountant i was like yo can you look at this like i'm like what's happening and she was like no nah, this is right so i just paid an accountant to like <laughs> for to, shit yeah i paid an accountant to yeah. pretty much tell me yeah i did my taxes right and then i had to pay all that money back <laughs> damn which was like Tough. that's damn, what wait, i you, felt wait, you make so much that you're paying the government no I when just... you file your taxes <laughs> holy bro 
God, that's, yeah. that's not what's uh, happening. They just, for some reason, I wasn't getting taxed on each paycheck. So I was just getting like full paychecks every time. Oh, oh. You, wait, you didn't. Wait, that's the government's fault, bro. Sue. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I'm big, that, bro, suit. That, <laughs> they're, oh that's goodness, their suit. obligation. That, Are they? I don't know. Yeah, no, I, think it's, I think it's the yeah. employer. I think it's the yeah, employer. The, yeah, the employer has to. Yeah, they're yeah. obligated. That's, I just had to take it up with HR. And it was Damn. Good. Yeah. So did they fix it, HR? At the end? Yeah, they fixed it. It was after I filed my taxes. Oh, so now, Damn. Yeah. Yo, that's tough. Because, yo, like, what if you didn't have that money? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, that's their fault. Like, that's, yeah, that's true. They can't, they can't, like, depend on you to just have that money. Like, you know what I mean? Like. That's fucked. That's really I, I, bro. I would sue personally. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna sue the CR. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not no, not no. Them. Sue your employer. Your oh. employer. Yeah, the CRA, but they don't care, bro. That's true. I don't know. Maybe I mean, you could well, give an anonymous tip to the CRA. <laughs> oh, tell them, yo, my employer. By the <laughs> way, it's not not pay, not yeah. to No, it's okay. I, I as long as I'm not getting fined and going to jail. I think that was my biggest scare. Having the bare minimum. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would assume so. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I'm not hitting like the jail, I'm okay. I think yeah. that's my that my cutoff. But that's how I feel super old. Like I had to do my taxes. I had to like figure out all of this stuff. Like, For me, it's it's just like saying the number twenty three. Like I'm twenty three. Twenty three doesn't is not old though. Bro, if you're I literally th- twenty three and me. Bro, literally. <laughs> but yeah like it's just it, no i i don't know for me i i feel like yo like fuck like 23 i should be like you know i should be like ready for, for what what's that like okay. like you know what can I mean? you elaborate yeah we're ready for what what's happening <laughs> no like i don't know i i feel like okay when i was when i was in high school i i, I always had so much uh like high asp- aspirations for myself and like high goals like exceedingly high <laughs> goals. okay what's a what's a synonym to that like super high. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. I feel yeah. that the thesaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I, I say peer social and it's all oh Bro, nobody's heard of that word, bro. <laughs> um so yeah, right now like bro. when <laughs> I when I look back at my like myself right now, it's like damn, like I'm not there. So it's like I need to Yeah, what did you think you're doing at so you just have depression. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you, just, you just have depression, bro. Okay, but like that, that, that's what you just described. No, like <laughs> borderline you know what i would yeah, like i would i would disagree <laughs> borderline I, I don't know if it's like full-on depression but um disappointment in myself slash like self-doubt do you have anxiety towards the future oh yeah yeah you're depressed <laughs> opinion, bro. Every, is that like is that just like a one question yeah. diagnosis yeah how much are you charging for this right oh bro this one's on charging? the house well, yeah. first one's oh. on the house every other mental disorder after it's at a 50 yeah. dollar upcharge <laughs> This is a choice therapy session. Uh, wow, this turned dark like real quick. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's just something that's been on my mind uh, No, I think that's recently. fair, though. Yeah. I think it's fair. I think the average person, if you're like, yo, if you got to meet the younger version of yourself, how would they view you? Yeah. Like, but at the same time, like, I um, I don't know if this is me making excuses for myself or what. But, like, when I look back at it, I feel like I don't know what what else I could have done to like to prevent that so do you think or you did the best that. you did you think you did the best given like the cards that you you had to an extent I would say yes. as somebody who's looking from the outside in i would say yes to an extent i don't know some you know what like actually um i was thinking about this like i think me for like the past i don't know let's say like six years the past six years i feel like all my decisions when it comes to just like long term like life whether whether it comes like career or whatever school um i feel like i played everything super safe like i feel like in in every major decision that i made there was always a risky decision and a safe decision and i always took the safe decision and i feel like um i feel like that that's that was like the right now it's not paying off like I feel like that 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 risky decision, sure would have been risky, but like who knows what the outcome is? Mm. Like you know what I mean? Um, maybe I've gone too safe, like that. Like it's just not like I don't know. Can I play devil's advocate? Yeah. Would you say buying a car is a major decision, or a minor decision in somebody's? No, life? no, I would say it's minor. You'd say it's minor. Yeah. Buying a car. I mean, depending on it's how the much. second biggest thing you're buying other than a house, right? Yeah, yeah, Can but like, dep- yeah, yeah, sure. Depending on how expensive the car is, like if you're mm-hmm. buying a Lambo, like mm-hmm. sure, obviously that's gonna okay, be like detrimental compared a car to like in general. No price tag. Um, 
I, I, no, I still think the pre- the pre- tag. Trying to see if you see where this is going. No, I I, I don't. Okay. No. You'll like it when it gets there. <laughs> The, I, I think the price tag really matters because like if, okay. if if it's just like a three thousand dollar car then mm-hmm. whatever who cares like if if you total the car next day you lost three thousand okay but like if yeah. it's like a quarter million dollars then mm-hmm. like bro you, you you put like a fucking mortgage on that car mm-hmm. <laughs> like you lost everything okay do you think that you can inherently take on a lot of risk buying a car what do you mean well you're saying that sometimes you had decisions between something safe and something risky and you picked yeah. the safe one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that buying a car can sometimes be inherently risky, a risky decision? Depending on the car, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So would you say the BMW you bought was a safe or risky decision? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, the, that was that was a pretty... I, I don't know. I, I, but no, I'm not even saying that's... it. Like, I'm saying memes aside. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. That was inherently a risky decision. <laughs> and, and you but took it... a very risky, very risky decision. <laughs> Yo, I want to go to a therapist where they just roast you. They flame you. <laughs> no, no, but he, he has a point. No, no, point. it's not a roast. It's not a roast. Because th- what I think is happening is that I think he's looking at his own life with a lens that basically paints it as I took very safe decisions of my life. Right? Yeah. But as some as me, somebody who knows you, mm-hmm. I would not categorize you in that way. Like, Can I we... think you've I think you've made... Huh? No, no, you go ahead. I'll say something after. I think you've made some pretty risky decisions in your life and some of them have paid off and some of them have it. And mm-hmm. if I compare how you've done things and how I've done things, I would say of the two who was more willing to make risky things and be okay yeah. with them not paying out, I would have always said you. Like the BMW, that was a, that objectively a risky decision. Even the fact that you broke even on it, is you just profit. Like, no, they profit. You made profit. Come yeah. yeah, that like that's <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Some, that's some crazy background luck. knowledge. Some background Cra- background knowledge. Bishoy bought a shit BMW and then sold it to a kid who doesn't know anything. Yeah, who just pretty wanted much. To, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to prove bought it for that. three, sold for four. By the way, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only reason why the sale happened is because the guy wanted to fuck on his dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's true. No, it's true. It's true. It's true. The guy literally just wanted to piss his dad off. That's. It's literally happening. His dad's like exactly what happened. His dad's like, yo, you're not gonna buy it. If you want to buy it, it's all you. And it's like, fuck it, I'll buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So that's okay. So that's something that's risky that's, that's paid off. Mm-hmm. Your NFT decision. <laughs> wow. That's something that hasn't paid off. Yeah, yeah. But They're, inherently a very, very risky buy. Yeah, yeah. Right? The way you invest in crypto. Also yeah, very, all, very yeah. risky buy. Yeah. So I think it's not a case of... Yeah, you're crippling gambling addiction. It's, also, uh, yeah, that's actually inherently very risky. But also very risky, but you're profitable. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, okay, okay. So, let you're me not, you're I not. can't believe you just ran with no, that. No, no, no. Let me let me say this. I think I think when it comes to money, especially like in my past 6 7 years, I I've been risky. All all my my decisions with my money the past 6 7 years have been yes, pretty inherently risky. Like I've started my own like shit businesses a bunch oh, yeah. of times shit oh, websites yeah, yeah. See, that's remember great. the that's websites risky. Yeah. That's yeah. Risky. bro this um, goes back to high school Bishoy was drop shipping phone cases yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was my first thing yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it, instagram page is still up <laughs> yeah he had, he had, you had cw as well communism works <laughs> oh yeah commonwealth yeah it was that was so long ago yeah. oh my god yeah. can't, be, can't Dude, believe you guys even remember that like it never came to existence that was a very weird idea concilious Bro, what can I say? I'm not yeah, aware. Guys, uh, if you use code daddy uh, for Concilius. Con- Concilius, I think you got like a 10% discount. Yeah, I'm sure he has to fulfill the order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the website's not even. I took it down. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Can they place an order through the DMs? <laughs> <laughs> you said the IG is still up, right? Yeah, I just yeah, still, I just, okay, I just <laughs> That's where I got it from. Um, but yeah, I think, I think with my money, uh, like because it's always been like like generally small amounts like it's all been what i had right like 1k here 2k there whatever so i but never so, that makes it even riskier sure sure but like for me as a kid who who like i have nothing else to to my name like it's whatever like yeah, i didn't care about it i was like whatever like i'll i'll do it um but i feel like when it came to actual decisions that mattered like actual like life kind of depicting decisions for me the biggest one i think of like is which program i went to like for school mm-hmm. like that's just the biggest thing that's like in my head right now um Damn, what four years of engineering does to yeah, a guy I mean, and it also just has recency <laughs> bias compared to everything else yeah yeah that's true um, that is very recency bias so so it's just like like that that was a very safe route for me 
and what was the risky route yeah mad really, like I'm science really no what i don't know i i think I yeah know. like what's the risk you're yeah. not going to university at yeah. all i think i, like, I would have i would have i would have done business i would have done oh so you wanted to color in between the lines isn't that safer i would say so i would say that's safer than edge i don't but know i think we're I don't defined know. safer by no offense to business students but like the average to get in oh or like the the kind of work that they do like you know how we all meme around like oh yeah business students just color in between that's the true. lines and i think that is yeah. still what kiro does i think so too yeah. <laughs> i think our I think only th- our only business friend i think yeah, that's what I he think, does at work yeah i think the other day he had an assignment he just had to watch coco melon no way yeah, yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> yeah i heard he got like a 50 on one of his uh exams it was the coco melon one he watched dora back yeah oh uh, <laughs> 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 <Stop. laughs> dude. Have yeah. Okay, bro. um <laughs> but yeah no i i we interrupt this therapy session to <laughs> just flame <laughs> business rinse students Kiro, bro. <laughs> just rinse the guy um yeah so I, no, I for me when i thought of business i always thought of like okay like um what am i going to do with a business degree like sure there's a thousand things you could do like you'd work in finance whatever well, business is like very generic it is it is there's so many there's marketing there's communications there's uh um, yeah like well like I, I didn't know what accountants. i wanted uh, like in general so i was just gonna go in and Econ. so i thought to myself like what like what am i gonna do with like i can't start a business with a business degree let me get like a an engineering degree figure out something else on the side and then make a business with it i mean to be <laughs> fair you could start a business with anything yeah you yeah, can yeah, start yeah. a business with an eng degree bro if you could be a lawyer with any degree you could be a fucking business yeah. owner with any degree yeah yeah um i've seen some crazy i've seen uh somebody get into med school with a dance degree yeah which is uh quite interesting yeah yeah i mean postgrads you just do the uh, but even so like you could do whatever you want with the eng degree that's that's true too and that's like kind of what i'm what i'm looking at right now um but yeah, I don't know. I feel I feel like so. I guess just to give context to everyone, like I'm, I just graduated, um, like this past month. Um, but like yeah, just no sight or anything of like a job. Like the job market right now is just complete garbage. Like only top of the top is getting like mm-hmm. stuff. Um when whatever you could i could blame a thousand things at it right i could blame myself i could blame the economy blame whatever regardless the matter of fact is like i'm just sitting here and you feel like you played it safe and that's why yeah yeah like sometimes i think about it and it's like bro like what i'm just saying like other people have graduated and like i I don't found a job yeah yeah like it's not just you i don't think it's like called playing it safe i think it's just i think i know what's happening here Uh uh-huh I think it's not that you think that you played it too safe. I think you're m- misconceiving the idea between what is risky inherently and how your risk okay, tolerance you're, you're and how your risk tolerance in- affects that. What I'm trying to say is basically, for example, you mentioned earlier, you you know, whatever dime you made, you yeah. just threw it away on whatever mm-hmm. risky thing. And those are in- inherently without taking into your risk tolerance. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You ask anybody, yo you have 500 bucks you have to live off that 500 dollars give me all 500 you might double it or you might lose it tomorrow yeah nine times out of ten they're gonna just say i'm gonna keep the 500 Mm -hmm. right but you Mm -hmm. took into account in that situation that your risk tolerance was that you had nothing to your name you have no bills nothing and that's why losing the 500 was fine you were able to take that risk and that was fine yeah but objectively that is an insane risk for anybody to take yeah insane yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah now if you take that same concept you apply it to how you view your career choice or not mm-hmm. career choice but your major choice yeah it seems that your tolerance for risk there is not as high right you feel like there's more responsibilities on you you feel like there's more money that you could be making more bills that need to be paid mm-hmm. whatever it may be and so the grass always seems greener because you didn't take something that you perceive to be risky but that's just because your risk tolerance for this is something that's inherently lower yeah you're not as willing to take something risky wow yeah no that's true yeah what can i say guys i'm a little smart sometimes you have to pay him like you have to e transfer him a hundred dollars for the (laughs) no but it's true this is like it's very important to um recognize that i think it is just the grass is greener on the other side yeah that's also very true i think once you like it's only been a month i think you just get some time yeah yeah get there it's just like i don't know i don't know i didn't like i always um like i said i always had high like super high aspirations for myself um like 
you know, I always wanted to to be I always wanted to be successful, like financially speaking. And I don't know. I feel like I, I like I need to work on that a little bit. Like I oh, need to are. kind of No, no, I need to work on even like the expectation in of itself. Oh, okay. Mm. Like, <laughs> like maybe my expectations are too high. Um or maybe yeah, absolutely. Or maybe 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 I'm I'm placing my happiness on the wrong thing. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't say that placing your happiness on money is wrong. Like I think anybody who says money can't buy happiness is just an idiot or has too yeah, much, yeah. or has too much money. Mm -hmm. Like really? I think Yeah, I think okay, listen, maybe we're not going to say money can buy you happiness. But we can sure should say that having money, you're more prone to being happy. The more money you have, the more likely you are to be happy, right? I think about think about just it's not like it's not like like a direct correlation. I wouldn't say it's not. But think about what is the number one argument in your household, or not number one, but you know, up there, one of the top arguments. It's always money related, right? I, I you think spent too much a, money there. You spent too much money here. We don't have enough money. This we don't have enough money. That or maybe I think my family threshold. just broke, yeah, and that's think, what I'm saying. But I think mm -hmm. there's a threshold. Like I think you get Absolutely. to a certain point where, like, okay, after that, no matter how much more money you need, you make, like it just doesn't matter because you won't. You okay, but that's talked? an insanely high. No, threshold. no, we talked about this. There's yeah. like studies. We yeah, talked yeah, about this yeah, on another Chris. episode. There's like a study that was done like in 2011 or something, and it was like the uh, people start getting diminishing returns in terms of happiness, or people aren't that much happier after making like seventy five thousand a year or something like that. And then that they was did, in 2011. Though. That was 2011, but yeah. they did the study back again in like the like the past year or two, mm -hmm. and the, it was like around like ninety five thousand a year. Mm, so, so adjusted for inflation yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much <laughs> but after they said pretty much after ninety five thousand, like if somebody's making ninety five thousand, anybody making above that they are happier they report ha like happiness but not as much like not as much of a difference the, between the percentage like below. increases yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so like it's like diminishing returns like sure you mm -hmm. could be making like three hundred thousand, but you're probably just as happy as a guy making like 150 or 100 or whatever it is you know what i mean so like it's not that much like i agree money like you need to make money and for a lot of different things mm -hmm. but once you get like your bills paid and you're like living a li like somewhat of a comfortable life it's not like oh my god this is mm -hmm. the the thing that's gonna make me super happy yeah yeah There's... but then yeah i guess but the second thing that i was gonna say too is just like um like i think you need to just be willing to also accept that like a lot of the media that you consume pays, puts a lot of emphasis on an unattainable level of success at our age right like i think it's I, not I think realistic. i put that on myself regardless like you like regardless of the media like mm -hmm. like growing up i i always did mm -hmm. i always put that onto myself and i think that's why but that's extremely unrealistic bro like yeah like, yeah okay yeah. how about i graduated a year before you, yeah right so yeah. i graduated last year mm -hmm. um what do you think was my taxable income on my t4 this year it was a number i couldn't even believe and i worked mm -hmm. bro 300 bucks mm -hmm. what yeah. Three hundred. Yeah, who's doing your taxes? That's how much I made. In, yeah. In in uh, oh, twenty twenty two. Oh okay. Oh, I thought like you, you like finessed your way out of it. No, and no, just that's didn't how tax. much I made. I was yeah. gonna say, bro, you got like better call Saul doing your taxes. Oh, no, I wish, bro. I, wish. I was like, bro, I wish, bro. <laughs> hook I me up with your accountant because yeah, I'm clearly paying yo, too much. To be honest, like of all the people in your life that are allowed to be slimy, it's like your accountant has to be one bro, of them. Bro, I'm trying you to find. You need yeah, a yeah, fucker. Yeah, you need yeah, a fucker. Yeah. I'm trying to find like that. Like I have a guy. Yeah. You have. You know a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been asking. I have a lady. I have a lady. There was, there's literally been like two weeks in in April where I was anybody I talked to I was like yo do you know an accountant that could do my taxes you for didn't me? ask me yeah you didn't ask me either bro. there's that's crazy. zero that's shot yeah zero that's shot crazy. I, I oh, asked. Yeah, we're gonna I have to circle back to that one. <laughs> yeah. I asked and nobody got back to me so I had, yeah no hook you up bro hook you up. bro I need Fire some guy. like I need yeah, some bro. under the cover some yeah, guy yeah. that has connections with the CRA <laughs> oh I don't know about that but she's good she's a good accountant yeah but anyway what was I saying. Oh yeah, we talked about. I only made, I only made, yeah, I only made three hundred dollars. Yeah, right? sounds like shit. It is shit. It's not even taxable. It, huh? It's not taxable. But I'm getting a return of like thirty bucks. Like, jeez, how are you getting a return? Wait, well, yeah, how, like, don't they have it so like if it's under a thousand, you they don't tax you? Or Dude, like if, I think it's under like no, I, I, it's under like ten. Oh. 10,000 in Ontario and like 13, I think, for federal, they don't tax. Well, I so. think your return is just a percent of how much. It's a percent in relation to how much you made, which is also in relation to the surplus from the budget, I think. Oh, wait. Your tax return. Wait, your return, I think, 
your return is probably just everything that you got taxed. But no, your no. return is. I definitely didn't just get taxed thirty four dollars. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're yeah. Anyway, confused. point is, point yeah. is, I made shit money. <laughs> yeah. When that was my first year out of university, and I graduated with honors, right? Mm -hmm. And I have mm -hmm. good work experience. Like I worked for a lawyer yeah. while yeah, I was yeah. in school. Yeah. Right. But the reality of it is, bro, it's just it's hard to get into the workforce and get a job that's not only meaningful but also pays you enough to get you to where you want to be right and it takes time yeah like even the job that i'm working right now bro it was crazy luck right the job that i was working before i was working at the airport i was making shit money i was paying way more or i was spending way more than i was making and i was working shit hours like you knew i bro, I was working like 4 a.m yeah, yeah, to yeah. like 8 a.m yeah right? and then this job that i found was just like again complete luck like it was just networking and even this job, like, I, I definitely should be getting paid more. But <laughs> the end of the day, yo, I'm just saying this just in case they're listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big slight. <laughs> yeah, be like, hey, can I get another raise? But anyway, um, all this to say is that these things kind of take time. And a month out of graduating, expecting to find a job is kind of crazy. Like, No, it's not, like, not expecting. I you're going to have to settle. Well, like, okay, like, let me, let me say this. At least back, like, back in the day, I, like, three, four years ago. Like, both my sisters were able to, like, find jobs, like, before they graduated. Mm -hmm. So, like, they had already offers signed once they graduated, boom, work right away. Um, but, like, that's no longer... That. So, maybe that plays a part of it, too. Like, me, myself, com like, comparing. Um, like, just, like, direct comparisons. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, I, I'm starting to realize that, like, bro, like, there's, there's so many so many different walks of life like there's so many different paths you bros finally hit the kumbaya moment yeah. <laughs> no but there's so many different paths to to to, to things like i, I don't know <laughs> like the, so many people make things out of like different ways i don't know it's 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 weird especially when you talk to people mm -hmm. like so many different opportunities just like pop up for people out of nowhere or or they make them happen i don't know but like it's just for me, it's whenever I look at myself and my my journey, my path, like I don't know what's coming. I don't know what anything is. Like, Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's just part of life. You kind of just yeah. take, it, take it how it is. Dude, somebody should play that uh, Yannis clip. It's like, uh, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? It's like, uh, no, I'm just laughing so you feel better, bro. Oh, uh, thanks. I appreciate <laughs> that. It's not that funny, but it's like the um, um, the Bucks, like the number, like the best team in the NBA. Supposedly, they lost in the first round of the playoffs. Um, some guy asks Giannis, "Do you think this year is a failure or whatever?" And he gets like super angry. He's like, "Why are you asking me this question? Uh, is it because I didn't win the championship? Is it's a it's a failure?" Michael Jordan was in the NBA for like however many years. He only won six championships, or like the other ten failures or whatever. Yeah. And then like that's pretty much it. Like just because like something didn't happen, like there's like steps to success. Like yeah. just because something isn't happening doesn't mean that it's a failure. It's just another step to success. Yeah, moral like, of the story is, bro, take it easy. Yeah, like, moral of the story, it's not that serious, dude. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you have so much time. You have so much time. There are people no, who are, are at our age right now still going back to school. I know, I know. And, and like, there's so many... Uh, there's so many people, that, like I said, like, have different stories. Like, I, I've seen people that, like, were, like, broke all of their 20s and, like, just, like, mid-30s or whatever. They just, like, popped off like crazy or whatever like people that like started working when they were 16 and millionaires when they're like there's so many different combinations that like you can't you can't pick one and decide to go with it yeah like you can't you can't like dictate one for yourself and say oh like this is how i want my life to go mm -hmm. this is and that's that's what i'm like kind of making peace with right now and it's 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 kind of tough because mm -hmm. at least for me I, i'm always such a big planner I like even like all those big decisions that I made, um, you know, where there was such a long plan ahead. And I, I, I throw my plans very far, you know, five years, 10 years ahead. I, I like like to have an idea of what's going on. I don't know if it's just like me kind of filling the void of the unknown. Like, am I am I just so scared of, of not knowing what's going to happen that I like feel feel that story? Or is it, um, like, I guess just trying to prepare? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many things that, like, I mean, like, you can think about all of those things. Yeah. Or you just not worry about it because it's going to be different, like, tomorrow. 
Like you could get a job sure. tomorrow, and it completely I don't know. changes everything. Yeah, dude. Yeah, um, and then you can also hit your job, or you can love it. That's true. It's not gonna save it. When I was going to, I don't know if I ever told the story, but um, when I was, uh, I applied to like maybe like I want to say six programs, uh, to uh, like six university programs when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. This is at the time where I, I know people that were applying to like twelve. 11 university yeah, men's, programs. Yeah, men's are fucking wildin', bro. Yeah, I yeah. to 15. Yeah, yeah. People were <laughs> dropping, like, thousands of dollars bro, applying to university to four, programs. Bro, right? yeah. I applied to six, um, and I got a few acceptances. Some of them I didn't get accepted, and I was, like, super devastated. That's cool. I came down to, like, a few acceptances, and one of them was Laurier, and one of them was Waterloo. Um, and this was at a time where there were so many people in our community that were going to Laurier, and I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to be different. I'm going to go to Waterloo. Um, thinking they were in different places. Um, I only realized that Waterloo and Laurier are in the same city. They're literally like uh, 10 minutes yeah. apart. I did not know that until I accepted the app, the, like the Wait, Waterloo. Actually? Yeah, I didn't know. I never knew that. That's, I, that's funny. I accepted, I was like, oh, Waterloo and, you know, and, and University of Waterloo and Waterloo. Mm-hmm. You, know, like you thought of, you're going to be like completely separate. I, from I thought like it was Waterloo. two different cities. Yeah. I was like, uh, I don't, I was like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to see all of these people. And Laurier like, and Laurier? Huh? Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, there's maybe like a Laurier city yeah, yeah, <laughs> that they're yeah. in. <laughs> so I, I accepted University of Waterloo. Um, I was like, you know, they have great po- uh, co-op program, you know, super like cool school. Let me go there far away from everybody else. I accepted and I was like, okay, let me start looking for places to live. And then somebody from Laurier messages me. They're like, oh, you're going to Waterloo, like let's room together. I was like, bro, I'm going to Waterloo. Turns out, turns out we're in the same city. <laughs> turns out I, I roomed with everybody that went to Laurier. So like, dude, planning and planning to the future, low key, not even worth it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's like true. actually, planning the, like like planning to the future to a certain extent is worth it. But if you're planning so far ahead that there's mm-hmm. so many variables in between that could change, that there's no point. Like yeah. if I'm planning like three years down the line, I'm depends on what I'm planning for. But I'm not gonna plan my wedding like three years down the line. Mm-hmm. I don't even have a girl. Well, like yeah. it just be completely different. Like that's the main thing. So like I actually don't plan ahead. Um, that's the simpleton answer. That's like oh, I like that answer though. Crazy, just dude. Um, take things how they come. Like yeah. you could worry about so many different things, but then you get a job tomorrow and everything changes. Now your like entire perspective is like looking at something new, mm-hmm. or you know something happens and you're thinking about something else. Like it's. You take it how it comes. Yeah, I I feel like see how God see where God takes you. I feel like me personally, like I'm like I'm the type to just like if if I don't plan, then then I get lazy. Like I feel like, like I you don't feel productive if you're not planning. Or I might just like not end up doing anything at all. Like uh, I might like so it's like a motivation for you. To an extent, yeah. Mm. Like I need to always be looking forward to something or to be working towards something. Which is also, like, could be good and bad. Like, I mean, it could be good in terms of, yeah, it keeps me going, keeps me, you know. But it could also be bad because it's, like, it's the endless chase. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's, like, mm-hmm. when when are you going to be satisfied? When are you going to be happy? When are you going to sit back and relax? And yeah, well, yeah, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, anyway, back to your original Yo, question. So I still use Be Real. Yeah, that is Be Real. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the kids I, are using it? Yeah, no, oh, the no, kids are not all using it. But I did have a quick pause from Be Real for like a couple months at oh, best. Okay. And oh. even now, when I use it, I use it like very rarely. But I, I also must say that I was, I think, one of the first people to just be like, Yo, it literally does not matter whether you post on time or not. It does not. Yeah. It doesn't at all. Bro, well, I, well like, right I now they tried. Was, they, they tried to they, make they it. They made some changes. Yeah, yeah. two bonus Be Reals. Yeah, I don't bro, the first one was already hard enough to take. Now I gotta true. take two more, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I retake my be reels like multiple times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll take, good, bro. I'll take one and I'll be like, oh, my, this is so ugly. And then I gotta close the app and then open it up again because you could see how many takes a person, like, a, yeah, yeah. there's a way to do it. But if you reset the app, then they like, it doesn't count. Then it doesn't count. So it's like, oh, one take. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. people can't know that I'm taking my be reel like six, seven times. Mm. first take guys and it's like the picture i don't yeah. care I, I, yeah really? i let it say eight nine retake <laughs> does not matter bro. no i try not to retake like i try my best to like make the first one good like i try not no i mean like you put like yours right now I'm, or i don't know no your, yours yesterday was yeah. like you waking up in bed and yeah. it's like you yawning yeah <laughs> try to make sure i look good no like, I, 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 I retake like, mine because like 
I'm under confidentiality. Yeah, yeah. And oh, at work? Yeah, yeah. So when it takes a picture of both sides, I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> beer, man. Like, <laughs> most personal confidential <laughs> information is just about to go on my beer. I actually did that, did that once and I posted it and I was like, yo, I had to go back and delete it like instantly. Like mm-hmm. I realized like a couple of minutes later, I was like, yo, this needs to go down. <laughs> you can save it. But yeah, but now I'm back on it. Yeah. Um, and I can't for believe- legal purposes, this was at an employer different than who you work for. Oh, right yeah. Yeah, this is way before <laughs> my current employer. Yeah. But yeah, I can't believe, like I said, kids are on Be Real and then, like, Bishoy went into, like, this, like, depression spiral. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck kids, bro. Yeah, I didn't mean to, man. I didn't, you're uh, still young, man. We're all kids here. <laughs> We're all kids. But yeah, no. I, I, for me, what, what killed Be Real for, for me was that the, the notifications, bro. The, they used to always give you notifications whenever someone posted even if they were there so late and it used to bother me so fucking much that i just turned off notifications for the app and once i turn off the notifications for oh, the you app, don't get the, the whole app is dead yeah. Yeah. yeah the whole app is dead so that's why that's why I, st- I stopped using it um because before they didn't have a thing where you can like turn off like just those notifications from other people to post but mm-hmm. like two days ago when i went back on be real they finally added that yeah. So I turn off notifications for everything except for like the actual Be Real notification. No, I respect that. But the reason I brought up Be Real is because I found something recently. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember HQ? Yes. Do you do you remember HQ? Bro, it was like the 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 live trivia. It was a live where trivia. Where they had like a live app. host and you, you had to like go you had, they had their own app. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is back in back in back in high school for us, so maybe like 2017, 2018. Yeah, I yeah. I think I think it continued on for a little bit past that, but there was a, a period where this app was popping. Mm-hmm. It was the entire premise of HQ, it's an amp you download, it's yeah. free entry. You join in, they have a live host. It's like a random time every day. It's like similar to Be bro, Real. It, wait, it literally paved the way for, for, all, those, for all those casinos, bro. For, for steak. <laughs> for steak. Yeah, yeah. It literally paved, bro. HQ what? So, yeah. bro, literally, so steak could run. Bro, I remember, it, and it used to be such a big, like, live audience. Yeah. yeah. It was like, there it was like, like hundreds of thousands of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And there was like a chat, and bro, like, they would do like the trivia. It would be like 10 questions, right? And I think like, if think you get was, one wrong, you're eliminated. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. I think it was like ten to twelve. Yeah, and there's a prize pool at the end that is shared by everybody yeah, that gets yeah, every yeah, single yeah. question right. Um, but if you get one wrong, you're out. And later they implemented um, like, oh, you could buy an extra life, or you could eliminate some answers that like help your chances oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But like you're spending money to make money. Yo, I remember. I remember when they when they changed hosts. Like that was so big for me. I was like, damn. Like, yeah, the old guy. Like, <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> loved that. There's that one. I forgot his name, but he's like tall, handsome. Yeah, bearded. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was, was the main stud? host. Yeah, absolute stud. Yeah, and he was like super energetic. Like you could tell. He was fire. He was good. The entire thing was improv. Like mm. there is no script behind it. There's yeah, like it's some just... script. But he's like the beauty of it is that the guy's funny, he's charismatic, and it's all live. Like it's and it's all live. But the best part is you just sit there around with all of your friends, and everybody's doing. It. Like I remember, I have a fond memory in summer of 2018. Yeah, it's a group of like me and like maybe like seven other people sitting in a circle everybody's like yo hq's on hq's on <laughs> and we all put up our hq everybody's doing it by himself and everybody's screaming answers and the mm-hmm. person that like makes it the first nobody has ever won money like we're all so yeah i don't stupid. think yeah, I, I don't yeah. think i know anybody who won money i have i think i tried to cheat answers once but oh, I tried crazy. so many times. Yeah, I, bro, it's so short. It's like I swear, it's like thirty seconds. Not even. I no, think they give seconds, you. Thirty seconds. You had enough time. Yeah, for yeah. yeah. I think I they think give you like, like 10, ten or five. Yeah. I think they give you ten seconds or so, and like you would have to like. I tried cheating it. I couldn't. But yeah. like, even with a group of like eight people sitting around, we there couldn't no do shot, it. Yeah, yeah. there's no shot. But it was just getting so far into it, and of the chance of winning maybe like ten dollars, <laughs> because like the, there's so many people that win at one point, and the price pool's only like maybe a couple thousand dollars yeah that's yeah. split amongst everybody in the world it's it's you're good, making yeah. nothing but it was like it just felt like such an exciting thing and it reminded me uh, be real reminded me of that because i was like you know it's that same time every day or a random time every day that everybody's on at the same time yeah which i thought it was like i don't know if you guys remember that but i was like that was cool, cool. Yeah. How, cool come, how, come, how come hq died like what happened uh, it just doesn't make money <laughs> Yeah, like, I think it's just, like, it lost its element. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in the beginning, you were like, oh, my God, I could make money off of it. But mm. then, like, after a couple of days, you're like, oh, fuck, like, this I'm is... I'm never going to make money. Yeah, yeah, this is too tough, so you're just like, oh, fuck it. Well, mm-hmm. I think there... I mean, I think the business model in of itself, because they weren't really... They didn't really run ads. Yeah. They were giving yeah. thousands of dollars away every day and paying people to run this app. Also, the app crashed, like, almost daily. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. well, I mean... 
not a single day where the app doesn't glitch out and you die because of it. That is also another reason why I fucking hate using Be Real sometimes. Bro, on the off chance that I get the Be Real notification, I'm like, okay, I'm actually going to post on time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shit's so laggy that by the time I took the photo and it's still trying to upload, it, late. It, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> no but, second photo for you today. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. And that shit is so annoying. You're not gonna take a second photo today, you fucking loser. <laughs> I didn't want to, but now that you're cussing me out, I do. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it like shames you into not getting that yeah, second like, photo. I, I don't bad. care. Yeah. I always take one, anyways. Like, uh, yeah, I was never gonna take the three, yeah. but it's nice to know that I did it right. <laughs> That's fair. Dude, it's so fun. I I saw some guy like I, I recently came on Be Real as I said. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like I mean, yeah. I thought of the same thing. Okay. I recently got on Be Real again. Oh, okay. oh yeah, there we go. Sorry. It's um okay. and I saw that you some guy posted twice and I was like, Whoa, what is this magic? And then I like read about it and I was like, Wow, this guy's a loser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I posted like, a time. Yeah. <laughs> if you post multiple, you're dude. It's I was not enough is going on in your life. Yeah, it was <laughs> even funnier because both of them were him on his couch watching TV. Wait, that, pause. that is crazy. The second one, there's no yeah. timeline. You could just take it whenever. <laughs> Bro, that's actually fucking crazy. <laughs> the guy's life is so boring. He just bro. said the most interesting thing is the same shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't think he took him back to back. It took hours apart between the, act, the first <laughs> one and the second <laughs> one. And it's the exact same scenario. It's just that's actually and, crazy, bro. bro imagine that's it's like so him crying crazy. in bed. <laughs> Seven hours later, crying in bed still. <laughs> just no difference. Bro. Yo, the fact... Now that you say that... This is kind of exposing, but yeah. not really. I'm not going to say any names. Okay. How do you feel about people who post them crying? On like what? Post, post on what? Well, the situation that happened to me was be real. It was on be real, them crying. What was, what, was the, what was the opposite photo? It's like a funeral. Well, yeah, what's on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> but is it the opposite photo that makes it good or bad? Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, it, if it's a funeral, I'm going to be like, okay, this is actually not. It's still bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> Bro, I think... <laughs> No, no. What if they're just watching a movie? Like Take that's it, acceptable. Yeah, actually, that's, that's acceptable. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think once it becomes like, like, <laughs> like if you're at the dinner table, that's a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> or crying, like a McDonald's bag in front of you, like crying like, at the, the dinner table. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god. <laughs> no, so this person, bro. I don't. Know, I don't think she listens. To that. Fuck. I don't think they listen to this. So I, okay. I, it was just like it's a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, you saved it when you said <laughs> there. Yeah, you saved it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you post bonus be reals. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> He's gonna post sorry, he goes home. Yeah. He's going home for his bonus be real. I should I'll do, I'll do my be real while you finish. <laughs> okay. So anyway, it was uh they work from home. Yeah, and it was their work computer. Oh, okay. Wait. But they were and balling. They're crying? They're balling, oh, they're balling, bro. No, that's, that's acceptable. Funny. Wait, wait. Yeah, was it was funny. It's really funny. funny. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. Question. Was it on time or was it late? It makes a big difference. That makes like a gigantic difference. <laughs> I really don't think that it does. Uh, no, it does. Yo, because, okay, in my opinion, like, if it was on time, then whatever, right? Like, that's what you were doing, whatever. But if it's late, so then, they're bro, really being real. If it's yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if it's late, then, bro, you you really started crying. And we're like, yo, damn, I need to take a beer with it right now. It'll look fire. That's true. You know I don't what remember. I, mean? I don't remember. I think I didn't check. So I don't know if it was on time. Like, I hate people like that. People who, like, are, like, just crying. And then they, like, they, like, post about it. Like, for example, on their Snapchat story or whatever. Mm. Just to get attention. They're like, yeah, yeah. That I, I don't Do you like. think B-Real has the same level of effect? Because, okay, here's the thing with B-Real. They market themselves as, like, an intimate yeah. social media app, right? So, like, realistically it's speaking. only your real friends. Yeah. So, like, of the people that I have on there. If I saw somebody crying, I would go out of my way to ask. Snapchat, if I see somebody crying, you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 bro, like, you're gonna yeah. post the same thing tomorrow. Or like, if they post the hospital thing, oh, you know, the, the hospital bracelet. bracelet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you, bro. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. fuck. So anyway, that person posted them crying. That's fair though. Like, I think uh, like I don't know if it's during, late or on time. I don't during know. like work, whatever. Then maybe they're just having like a they maybe they had a bad meeting. Maybe like. I don't know. Like, okay. that's excusable, though. Like, yeah. Under, under yeah. my book? Maybe if Troy flamed them out for yeah, the meeting yeah, going yeah. a little yeah. long, and that's why they're crying. I told them we'll circle back. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll circle back. Yo, but here's why I'm bringing it up. Because they posted them crying on Be Real. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's like an intimate app, right? So I'm like, okay, like I should reach out, you know? See if they're yeah. Bro, they were dry. Damn. Bro, they were cheesed that I brought it up. That's funny. What the so fuck? why post it? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'd be real too. Like, <laughs> why post it if you don't want anyone to talk to you about it? That's cheese. Because that's literally why people do it. It's like they just to get attention or to get like you know, like 
Yeah. I guess I wasn't the person's attention they were trying to grab, so they were like, Damn. Oh, fuck, not this they're guy, like, yo, bro. fuck you, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah bro, you asking me crazy. <laughs> Did you take your be real? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm like, gonna, I took uh, three retakes. Three retakes? Three retakes. Let's yeah, Mark, Mark kept like dropping off, so I had to, like, uh, I had to figure out a way. I That's kept f- dropping off? Dude, if anybody is crying on my be real, um, I'm sorry. I'm not, You're not hitting them yeah, up. Yeah, I'm not hitting you. <laughs> If it's late, I'm not hitting them up. If it's oh, like, yeah. if it's on time and it like they're they're not doing like it, and it looks serious, like if they're not watching a movie or whatever, then yeah, I'll hit them up. Like oh, I'll yeah. be like, yo, like what's what's going what's on? Wrong? Yeah. Wow. Never. 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 I need to start reacting. Wait, to I that what is oh. my oh. Ah. All right. I Sorry, guys. So. We had a small uh, technical issue. Yeah. Very technical. Yeah. Hello? Super okay. technical. Yeah. Can you hear me? I think we're all live. Yeah. Everything's good? Yeah, yeah we're yeah, live. Yeah. Okay. We I don't know why we like said sorry. Like, who are we apologizing to? to the, the audience, bro. They, they have to see it. Yeah. They have to see it. This is all getting edited. No, but they see the, they're still going to know the cut. Yeah, like. they're going to. Yeah. No, nah, that's cool. Yo, at least like explain the cut. Like, you know, I hear uh, when there's a cut and it's like, yo, what? Like, why, why'd you cut it? Like, something happened. No, but then now we're assuming we're interesting. Damn. You know? Well, like, are you, are you never curious? Like, when you no. listen to stuff and there's a cut? No. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll go back from here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, Be Real. Uh, oh, we're, we're off now. And she we're... was crying on Be Real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're still. Yeah. She Did you hit her up and she was dry? Yeah, bro. That's tough. I know. That's tough. What did you do? Yeah. Our bomber? I would have our bomber after, like, two texts. No, I would have. I don't remember. Just I have read all. Well, to be honest. Should I turn I'm... it on? Just our bomber? Yeah, I would. Oh, shit. Dude, I am. I actually have to keep my like red receipts off because I'm so bad at texting. Bro, I have it off on Teams. That's how I know it's serious. Yeah. Oh, I have it off everywhere. I am super. Yeah. Dude, you know what? <sighs> this is such a sad thing to say. What? Um, so we had Miriam on the show mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago, and after uh we finished, she like sent me a text. I don't. Know, did she send you a text as well? Yeah, she just said like she just had a nice time and yeah. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, dude, thank you so guys so much. Like, it's a super sweet message." Should I be doing that? Yeah, after every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just come on here and I'm like, yo, fuck these guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> gotta be grateful a little. Yeah, shit, bro. But she was super sweet. She was like, thank you guys for having me on. You know, like, wish to see you soon, whatever, whatever. Um, And I look at the message and I was like, yeah, I'm going to respond. And I never responded. Damn. And then it was like two days later and I was like, oh, I need to respond to Miriam. But I was like, yo, it's two days. I, w- I would still do it. Yeah, you, really? you still kind of have to. Like, I was I like, mean, oh, I did not. <laughs> unless, unless, unless this goes up before you respond. This could be the response. Yeah, yeah. This is this is why I was like, you know what? I was going to say this as my response. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, yeah. because I was like, I was two days late and I, I felt so bad. I was I can't respond to her two days after and after such a nice thing of her to do. Um, so this is my, I don't I don't know if she's going to hear this. Maybe I'll clip it and send it to her specifically. <laughs> well, that, that's not very real of you, bro. Yeah, it's not. But I'm such a bad texter. Like yeah. my last like 10 met people that I've messaged, the, some guy from Miami messaged me and I R bombed him. Why people from Miami message you? Somebody from Miami. Was, was, was it wrong? You're getting wait, flown wait, wait, out. Hold on, hold on. Was it in, spa- <laughs> was it in Spanish? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. No, I was not. But I'm getting flown out. Bro, Miami's literally a little cute. Yeah. Dude, the guy was so nice. He was like, uh, he just starts off the message by saying, Brady, I heard you went to work in New York. How are you over there? And I was like, yo, sorry, man. I think you got the wrong number. Yeah, it ain't Brady, bro. This is me. not Brady. You will tell me I have six rings. <laughs> <laughs> Is it six or seven? I don't know. Idea. <laughs> I think it might be. I think it is six. <laughs> Yo, fly out my rings. <laughs> um, and the but guy not him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just the rings? rings? Just yeah. the rings. Like, send fly me out. my rings. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought you just wanted the rings to go on a plane and just, like, come back <laughs> after. Like. Dude, but I actually think this guy could have flown me out. And he, that, he said, uh, I'm very sorry. I just verified the number. I entered the wrong number. I hope I didn't bother you. I was oh, like, that's so nice. I was yeah, like, yeah, this guy's guy. nice, so I, I'm not going to R-bomb him You should that. have flown him out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you didn't R-bomb that? You no, kept I, the problem conversation going? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, the guy's being super nice. He already said sorry. Like, what? what, is, what else is there to say? Well, uh, it's okay, man. I, <laughs> yo, I'm Stephen, I'm by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like, yo, I'm sorry again. Stephen, be like, yo, yo, it's okay, man. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. <laughs> like, what, you guys just start chatting? <laughs> yeah. What, like, I, yo, so how is Miami? I said, I said, no bother at all. I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys. Yeah, I was like, I'm being nice. It's cordial. It's cordial. I'm being yeah. cordial. Did he yeah. arm up? Please tell me arm up. No, no, he responded. Wait, hold on. Wait, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Wait. by the way, timestamps? No, not timestamps. Uh, this is like regular text. Uh, no, this is... Uh, or is it uh, WhatsApp? No, this is regular task, text. Oh, he's getting billed. Yo, you're paying. The, he's getting billed. Yeah, you're paying to be nice. How am I getting billed? Oh, international. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're paying international <laughs> rates to be this yeah. guy, bro. This Maybe. guy just he actually thing. should fly. At this point, I have to get flown out. <laughs> yeah. You've paid enough. Maybe <laughs> You've actually paid enough. I thought it was, uh, what's it called? I thought it was um, uh, like, uh, like iMessage. No. That was Stevie, the first one was green. You yeah, should have known after all green. They're all green. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, it doesn't like matter. The first one is excusable. Oh, yeah. After that, you know, you know yeah, that more you're paying more. Yeah. I, I, to, to be honest, it did not cross my mind at all. Damn. It's okay, bro. You just want to be a nice guy. Yeah. Cor- yeah. Very cordial. Especially this time, you had to reply. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you could not arm up. <laughs> no, no, but listen, this is where it gets like a little weird. He said, thank you for your understanding. You're okay. a kind person. Are you also in Miami? I would like to invite you for a cup of coffee to express my apologies. Please tell me our mom that one. No, no, no. Let me keep this going. Oh, uh, no. I was like, hey, how are you? No, I are bummed. Okay. I should have I should have been like, yeah, man, I'm going to be in Miami next weekend. Let's set something nah, up. No, bro. This is where you're talking like, yo, bro, I live in Mississauga. <laughs> yeah, this is my address. <laughs> my is my postal Steven. code. <laughs> Send me the tea. <laughs> my name is Halter. Walter Harwell Wife. Walter. <laughs> <laughs> and it should have been like please book me a, a, a plane ticket from yeah. um, Pearson to Miami mm-hmm. ASAP I will be there for coffee as yeah. long as you're paying and treating me nice yeah and treating you won't have nice. a coffee on the plane yeah, yeah. huh and you won't have a coffee on the plane oh, just my, to be nice why would I I'm yeah, you'll coffee save on. it for him bro I don't yeah, even exactly know this that. guy's name he wants your coffee cherry <laughs> that's true but I don't even know this guy's name I should have asked for the name or something. yeah you should have told him like yo at least ask me for my name first yeah like, you know, you know what what's, I mean? like, yeah, yeah what's even more sus is that i looked up the uh number yeah not the number but i looked up the area code hmm. um the area code is in pennsylvania so i don't know how this guy got to miami i guess maybe he could cut out the number he could just be in, in like, miami for the yeah, day for sure it's like he could just be traveling yeah like it's not just, it's not international like. that's true but like that's weird it's like somebody having a 647 number in like vancouver no, nah, you, know, okay, you, know you know what's weirder? What? Replying to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. Really? Just I thought yeah. I, the no. it was that bad to reply. It, it is that bad. I, it it is, and the fact that you're getting international rates is even worse. No, I doubt it's like that much. It's like 10 cents at the message. It's not, it's bro. not, but still, like, it's like, bro. But it's like, going to be on the bill. Like, he already said sorry. Like, you'll see it on the bill. Like, they'll specifically point it out. Yeah, it's going to be like this very specific time. This you replied. Text message. Yeah. They sent the text message. <laughs> they sent you a screenshot of you of me replying to this guy thinking yeah, I'm yeah. Brady. Yeah, and it won't even say added fee is going to say international rate. Like, you'll know. Like, they're going to taunt you with it. That's fine. Bro, like 20 cents. I'm okay. <laughs> that, that Money's not the issue well, 40, at this point. 40, bro, 40. You just send them twice. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay. <laughs> I two more. <laughs> bro, come on. I'm okay with that. But I are bombed him. That was like the moral of the story. Wow, that was is so I, hard. How'd you do it? The moral of the story is I'm not good at text messaging. But it's not even an R bomb. You know why? Why? Because it was I the green text. To twice. No, well, no. Well, the green text they can't see. I think an R bomb is only an R bomb if when they, they can, can tell. actually they can tell, tell you're an R bomb. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like to be honest, like some of these are like day old conversations, or like more than days old conversations. Like they definitely they still know. Be undelivered. No. No, sh- I read it and I just but don't I reply. I wouldn't say R bomb. Like, if somebody left me undelivered, I would not say they they are bomb me. Because an R-bomb, especially if you have it on, yeah, it, it sends a different kind of message than just leaving it undelivered. No, sure, sure. But I feel like regardless, like, in today's age, like, everyone's on their phone 24-7. Like, if someone doesn't reply to you within two hours, then they are bomb. Whoa. That's so... That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, I'm not replying in two hours. Sure, how much do you think I, I open our group chat? You're telling me, you, you tell me in a two-hour span you never touch your phone? No, uh, in a two-hour well, span, okay. I'm not going to respond to this guy. Okay, no, but you're well, going to see my worried. message and you're not going to respond. Yeah. So, okay. No, I won't. That's the thing. I have so many other notifications, your shit's probably going to get drowned out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. You're not just... No, I'm not saying this like, oh, I'm a big up guy. But you have to... It's a game of it's a game of numbers, bro. No, but you like... You have to say, within these two hours, yeah. are they likely to see it and there won't be any other notifications that push me down? No, like you the don't see you all the notif- I see all my notifications. I don't. Like, to be I honest, I don't get that many that many notifications. Yeah, I still don't reply. Bro, Uber Eats is like sending me notifications like five times a day, bro. You guys are competing with Uber <laughs> Eats. <laughs> I'm. To be honest, you're not competing with anybody. I just don't care. Uh, if you said, if <laughs> that's you what I'm saying. Wait, no, which person is worse, me or him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you, to be honest. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you should have told you he doesn't give a shit. I'm telling you, Uber Eats is on my line. <laughs> Why is Uber Eats on your line, bro? Fucking <laughs> oh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's like every day, bro. They're like, yo, save 5% right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just get bored of the conversation after like five, 10 messages. Yeah, I'm that's like, fine. That's I'm fine. Like, like, that's it. Like, we're done. If you're texting me, we're texting for a purpose. 
No, no, I, I'm like that too. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, like, into, like for me, I don't care if it says like red or not. They mean the same thing to me. No, they don't. because I know oh. in a two-hour span you've opened it or you've read it. Yeah, like, I know if somebody if somebody did not reply to my message and like I I don't say two hours. I give people the benefit of the doubt and twenty-four hours. <laughs> After that, I know it's an R bomb. Oh, okay, yeah. But what the difference is with an R bomb, though, like a legitimate R bomb, is yeah. if you send a text that's long enough. They don't get to see the whole thing unless they actually have to open it. That's true. Yo, who's oh, sending yeah, who's sending paragraph? You're sending paragraphs. No, 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 but no, like, okay, no, no but like, who's IG for, paragraphs okay, to? IG for example, bro, five words in, you're not gonna be able to see anything unless you open it and it tells them that you read it. Bro, send them par- like bro. bait paragraphs. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Empty oh paragraphs. God, yeah. <laughs> just I'm just gonna space. start getting paragraphs that just don't say anything meaningful <laughs> and then put my message like somewhere in the middle. And let's just keep going. <laughs> Dude, there's actually people on Instagram that I have debombed for like months oh yeah but that's normal yeah ig yeah. i think it's acceptable i think so i think that's the only place it's acceptable because like why are, you, why are you telling me on instagram like if it's like for fun then whatever like i'm gonna r-bomb like if because then it's lighthearted, like no one cares but like if you're serious then bro get yeah the somebody instagram. was yeah like, somebody was like trying yeah, to reach out to number, me on instagram yeah serious. yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. so like, reach out cares? to me on be real if i'm crying like <laughs> yeah on. bro yeah. hit up hit up <laughs> at the, i want I, I want like a reaction and like a comment Mm-hmm. No, what I would do, what I would do to be honest, is I would react and then call. You would react <laughs> first, <laughs> okay? But are you reacting with you also crying? No, no, <laughs> no, no, laughing, crying. It'll face. be no, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. It'll be a shocked face. I'll be like, and then call, is like, like, like send call right away. Okay, but is it the shocked face that you've already pre-saved? No, no, or no. no it's the live one. It's the oh, live okay, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what I would do. Interesting. Yeah, yeah not not it. All right, dude. I'm still. I'm just going through my like topic. Oh, can we can we go to circle jerk? Yeah. yeah oh, you guys want to circle jerk? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Earlier, earlier, you mentioned you and seven guys, and me and Bishoy looked at each other, and it was like, <laughs> oh, that was, this, this is the moment. This is what? the circle jerk moment, and then and then you just never went there, bro. I can't believe that's what you guys were thinking. Yeah. We were just playing HQ. Yeah. yeah In yeah. a circle. Yeah. Okay, uh, bro. You can't blame us. You literally said like, yeah, bro. Me and like seven guys around me. Yeah. Like, I didn't say seven guys. I said seven people. Oh, it was guy. It was yeah, run, run the like, tape back. Run the tape yeah, back. Yeah, we'll run the tape back. The you tape can't. Back. You can't like blame us for assuming it's guys. <laughs> it was That's a guy. True. That's no. true. It was mix. I don't believe that. Okay. I, I don't either. To be honest. Wow. <laughs> wow. I like statistically speaking, very likely it was all guys. Why is that? What statistically? Bro, Yo, just say I get it. No, like no, just no, say that, no, bro. I, it's the same. It's the same source as you saying like be real. It's all the kids they're on right now. That is true. That's, the That's same not story. the same source at all. <laughs> same story. One of them is my memory. One of them is like me thinking. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> you just said the same thing twice. One of them is my memory. The be real is more like that's what I assume people are oh. doing. Okay, bro, fine. You didn't jerk off in a circle <laughs> with seven guys. It was oh. seven people. So what? What is circle jerk? Yeah, what is circle? No, jerk? I. Do you guys? So on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> okay hear this me out getting worse hear me <laughs> out on reddit there's subreddits like niche you know pages for everything yeah if you add circle jerk to the end of it, it you'll find like even more niche pages of meme pages of that like thing yeah so there's like r slash nba which is an nba page right there's yeah r slash yeah. nba circle jerk <laughs> with it are they just making of the r slash nba Making fun of the R slash MBA? It's pretty much just meme pages. Like, it's pretty much just straight, Oh, it's not, like, like some super hardcore, like... No, no, they're not, like... It's like R slash MBA advanced, like... Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's even worse. It's more, like, such degenerate memes and, like, low-level effort memes mm-hmm. that it's funny. And oh, I, okay. I found out about it today, and I didn't know this was, like, a trend. If you add Circle yeah. Jerk to the end of any Reddit... It just becomes like this, like weird D-gen. shit posting. Like D-gen I wouldn't site. say any Reddit, almost any Reddit. Yeah, because there is like, for example, like r slash teens. Oh, ew. I have ew. a very strong yeah, yeah, yeah. suspicion Bro, that if somebody was still a circle, circle yeah, yeah, I have a very strong God. suspicion that if you looked yeah. it up, you're gonna end up on a list and yeah. you're not gonna end up where you want to. R slash circle jerk, circle jerk. <laughs> Yo, wait, somebody should try that. Yeah. Wait, that's fire. But like, they, they make fun of it. Mix. No, it could be a more intense circle. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Or it's situation. like a Venn diagram circle. <laughs> Yo, it's two circles. <laughs> okay, so 
I don't know why I have a story like relating to this, but oh, you okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, yesterday I was at the gym and I this is <laughs> <reason. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, be real. Be real. Popped up. Yo, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, my be real is gonna be the exact same thing twice. <laughs> I can't wait to get my bonus be real. Yeah, man, I'm wait. so excited. Wait. Can you <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, I look like a. Should I, I take mine now? Phone. Yeah, bro. Where's my phone? I don't. Bonus be real time. Wait, no. Oh, that I'm looks super ugly. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Where is it? Oh. Wait. Bro, mine looks like I'm on a spectrum, but I'm not going to say which. We interrupt this podcast to take our yeah, B-reels. B-reel break. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cole is jacked. All right. Um. So, back to my story. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm... Cole, yeah, we're like... Cole is jacked, dude. So yeah, yesterday I was at the gym and I hear this oh, yeah. guy uh, talking on the phone. Like he he was he was mid set. His phone rings. He drops everything. He picks up the phone, and then he's like, "Yo, man, like how how you doing? Like how's everything?" And then he's like, "Um, well, I just wanted to ask you if you're free for uh, for someone Saturday." Like just straight up. Wow. What it's definitely an inside joke. What did he say? And then, like, like I at that point, like, I think he started like walking away, so I could like barely hear. Oh, but yeah. like, you didn't follow him? Okay, <laughs> I'm working out. Wow. Um, but what I basically started, like, what I was picking up is that like they were just trying to coordinate like a time that works. Because like, it's oh, definitely like, an inside joke. I really hope so, bro. Because it, Why like, would it you seems say that? so serious. Like he's like, yo, I, I, I wanted to see you for a foursome on Saturday. I was like, what, bro? Pause. Wow. That doesn't, sa- bro. At the gym, that doesn't sound real. Like. That's how I'm picking up every phone call from now on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that, but it's matter. an inside joke now. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, but like, but I think the guy was being serious. I'm gonna be. I don't. It's think gonna so. be an inside joke. You for don't me. think so? Like I can definitely. He's see old. Like he was like like 29 or like he's a, he seemed like he's the type to be in the fourth. Okay. Time. Like I can see a scenario where like you just joke around with your friends and say like if the four of us are going say like okay it's oh it's a force like, oh yeah. maybe 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 that's that, the case. Se- that seems more probable that's what me. i thought of too like that i and but I, it was just so like stunning to me like it was it just shocked me once i heard it like yo let's go for a foursome and i was like bro what like what <laughs> yo shout out cole he just texted me asking if we're having fun on the podcast yes we are <laughs> <laughs> your b-real made it too yeah, yeah dude you're also jacked just yeah put that out there yeah, so your exactly. b-real absolute like crack um no I thought so. I brought it up because I was I've discovered uh, our slash NBA circle jerk uh, at the gym. At the yo, why? <laughs> and just like I, I was like, I finished this. Ad, I was like on my phone. And it was recommended to me. I was like, why not? I was just scrolling through it, dude. I could not stop laughing. Like I was genuinely <laughs> laughing out loud in the middle of the gym. And some guy came over to me and asked me if I was okay. <laughs> I need you should have told him, yeah, it's just because the R slash NBA <laughs> circle jerk. Bro, I actually My bad, bro. It. <laughs> but it's like, I, I don't think it, you'll find it funny if you're not. Is it like with a space? Oh, I see. No, it. no, it's just full. But you could do, like, there's, uh, this is a little bit of a degen, but I looked it up. There's HS circle jerk, like Heightstone circle jerk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's right. It's like actually such a degenerate. It's such like low level degen memes, but it's so funny. It's so funny. That's, what, that's the only like, reason yeah. I brought it up. I think that it's there's there's something in um, like making fun of everything. But like, why is it no making fun of everything is sure I got that. Yeah. But why why the this is actually funny as fuck, bro? Like, yeah, like read the like read yeah. read it. <laughs> Look at the title. On <laughs> you can read okay, it out loud. <laughs> I I I don't, I don't. no no no. no? Okay. I still want to stay employed. <laughs> but it's some like crazy insane memes. Yeah. Um. I, th- I I get it. People want to make fun of things all the time. That's totally normal. Yeah. You know, hater mentality is a beautiful thing. But why is it circle jerk? Why why is it that if you add circle jerk to the end of something, it just automatically becomes the? I think because because they just make fun of it. Like oh, like these guys are having a circle jerk. That this is what it is. Like you know what I mean? Like no, I think they're calling themselves a circle jerk. Yeah. 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 But. They they call themselves like jerkers. No, yeah. no, but like I, I, imagine if you were to get <laughs> if you were to get a group of r slash NBA people, okay, and you throw them in a circle jerk, then that's like those are the memes that they would generate. No. So that's 
So that's what they are like doing. Is that like this is your way of exp- this is your way of rationalizing it? No, I'm just explaining what the meaning behind circle jerk. This is, is the def- definite meaning. Like that's what I, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so this is your, your way. Okay, of, fine. Yeah. Yes, yes. So yes. Stimo's right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm but, yeah. I'm rationalizing. I'm not like justifying. It. I'm just like. Like there's no justification needed. Yeah, I'm what, ass- what I'm assuming it is is that like it's like a distinct, like or it's a distinction that they're like a smaller, more intimate group. <laughs> it's <laughs> the original a, subreddit. It's possible to do a circle jerk with this number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like I think like because like a circle jerk is like so like jarring. Yeah. That it, like is also like a double entendre to explain the level of the content. Mm. So like NBA circle jerk, so it's like much more jarring humor about the NBA. Yeah, it is. It's, that's actually the perfect way of describing it. It's like jarring humor. They make Thank you, bro. Just show, <laughs> just show you a bit more. <laughs> no, like that's actually some yeah, of the yeah. some of the memes on there. By the way, like are super edgy. Like they're they're doing some like tragedy memes. Oh, yeah. like like some yeah. actually tra- I think they were making fun of like Kobe Bryant's death like multiple oh times. Oh my god! Ago. And that's like that's how far they go. Like yeah, super yeah. degen low effort memes. Uh, every now and then you'll find a really good one that like really makes me chuckle. Yeah. Um. So it's like you know finding like those hidden gems. That's the yeah, only the reason. I, in the rough. Yeah. yeah pretty yeah. much. But but it's just so fascinating to me that if you have any subreddit that you really like or any niche topic that you really like and add circle drake to the end of it <laughs> you could find it it yeah. just becomes an entirely different thing <laughs> but yeah. it has to be a pretty big subreddit like it's not like yeah. a, a lot of the small ones no it has to be something where like it also like people need where to the get first together. word then adding circle jerk to it could get you somewhere on a on a no-fly list yeah. <laughs> i think those are the two main rules there probably yeah yeah bro humor is such a like an interesting thing Oh yeah? Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, I'll just end it off here, bro. That's it. That's <laughs> over. That's so over. <laughs> oh my Oh bro, my god. It was like actually the perfect like Oh my days. It worked on so many levels, bro. I'm sorry. Duly Carly noted, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like bro. <laughs> fucking cry later. Okay. Duly noted. But are you laughing now? Nah yeah, you could you could say yeah. What would you wanna say? Humor is such yeah, an interesting, interesting thing. Yeah. No, I was just gonna say like it's interesting that like we how we cope with difficult times sometimes with humor. And that mm. how sometimes that like it's it's our way to make light of things. And I feel like that's kind of where like dark humor came from. Like it's just like yeah, people's way of just like coping. There's a famous um, comedian. I don't know who. I'm. I want to say Louis C.K., but I also don't want to say Louis C.K. because mm-hmm. he's had a bit of a. Yeah, yeah. They're about to get canceled. I know, but I, yo, he's back. He has a special. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Which I it's crazy, but anyway, I think one of them anyway said like, humor is just time plus tragedy, or tragedy plus time. Yeah. Like, given enough time, any tragedy will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's true, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just interesting to see how humor evolves through tragedy. Like, like, like how humor is before, during, and after a tragedy. Can you give me an example? Because, like, all, my, all I can think of right now is, like, jokes of 9-11 before 9-11, and then jokes about 9-11 during 9-11. No, no, jokes no. After. Like, like, New York... A uh, comedy scene before nine mm. eleven, during nine eleven, after nine eleven. Well, during nine eleven, I I wouldn't. No, some people. I'm pretty sure some people like people still did like stand. But it was j- like a objectively distasteful. Yeah, yeah, I but think- the, but uh, that's what I'm saying. It's interesting to see like mm-hmm. how it evolves. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I was not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna put anything on that. It's a quite interesting take. Do you think our humor now has the devolved beyond saving? Wait, devolved? us, us, devolved. Uh, us as individuals, not just us individuals, but like you know how everybody society. says like, "Oh, Gen Z humor." And oh, it's I just love like, Gen Z humor. It'll just be like I don't know, like somebody you like, like just nothing really funny. Like it, it's it's the most like random, no rhyme or reason. What I loud, love loud noise. No, dude. I feel like that's me. Okay, yeah, yeah. that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, no. I saw like, I, I saw a TikTok of a girl getting hit by a car. I thought that was hilarious. Okay. Okay. That's, is, that, is that Gen Z but, humor? No, no. Because people would have found that funny. I feel like... <laughs> like, I, I would find that funny. It was, but it Gen was Z humor, funny. I don't find funny. Like, for example, like... Oh, my God. You ever seen that clip of that fucking 
plain that somebody like CGI to make it twerk. It's like a gif. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, well, how are you laughing, bro? You didn't even see it. Like I I'm know, just explaining it, bro. It sounds so absurd. Yeah, no, I don't know. Let me yeah, but I, I don't. Th- I don't think I would find that funny. Like, yeah, wait. but that's you know what, what I, mean. like, you know what I find just funny? really absurd with no rhyme and reason, and what? just off and loud. Okay, I don't know if this is considered like Gen Z humor, but like, you, you ever see those like TikTok like edits of like random shit? Like right now, or like two days ago, I saw like a Reddit of grass. <laughs> like someone made a grass edit. <laughs> yeah, this is what you're talking about. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's what? hilarious that's hilarious it's a plain twerking <laughs> like i think yeah, there's no rhyme or reason like i think it's visually funny but objectively not funny okay but that guys there's okay, nothing but, such but that, as that's, objectively. that's kind of you in a way saying like yo my taste in humor sucks like, <laughs> no but you're saying oh it's funny to me but it's not actually funny. no no like i look at it i have to laugh but like, <laughs> who's gonna go into like, when, when you when you tell it to me i don't find it funny like you but yeah, it's funny. Uh, maybe I don't, I don't know. think there's anything such as objectively funny. Okay, but do you you don't think Gen Z humor? Okay, well, you guys are both Gen Z humor enjoying. The film. <laughs> yeah. so, like I like. Okay, do you think humor is one of those things that can actually get worse? No. Okay, best the, example I can give is like mumble rap, for example. Like we listened to mumble rap growing yeah, up. Yeah. But if you ask, if somebody asks you like, "Yo, you think mumble rap is a good genre of music?" Nine times out of ten, you're gonna say, "No, it's ass. It just sounds good." Yeah. But if it like, sounds good, then s- it's good music. No. No, but like no, but like you would not, you would not put it next to like, uh, like Frank Ocean guys. Yeah, art. yeah. This, this and goes, say it's and then say it's good. This goes back to the idea of art. Art which is subjective. Yeah, which so su- art is what you make it out to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but still, I, I, this, I still feel like. But you don't think mumble rap is objectively bad? You no, can that, enjoy it and think it's good. Yeah, tell, but it's I objectively say, bad music. It's low effort. They're not saying anything, or they are, but you just no, don't understand. No. Like you, like sure, like I get what you're saying to an extent, but at the same time, there is like, like there is. Uh, no, there isn't. No, bro, no, I would like you. Can, I, let me, I can't take a shit on a paper and then like be like, oh my god, like that's art. You can call that art if people think that's art. Then it's art. That some guy okay, take the banana, but, but people yes, have to think it's art. Yeah, yeah. Object- and it could. Yeah, still, so that's the thing. Uh, yeah, but, but it's objectively uh, bad art. It's low effort. He shot on a fucking thing. How do you know it's low effort? No, no, no. But it probably took bro, him. Were you constipated, bro? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know? The, 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 bro, like, <laughs> how do you know it didn't take him so long to get that out? No, but regardless, it's, regardless of of if it's bro, art or not, like people have to think it's art. Yeah, that's fine. Some people yeah, do so, think it's art. Some people think yeah, mobile yeah, rap yeah. is art. Yes, but it, there, like, there's, bro. But no, compared no, no. to other, th- okay. No, no. Let if me. If Bishoy shot on a on a canvas and called it art, it now holds itself to be within the same standard as other works of art, like Starry Night, like I don't know, art Mona that Lisa. Well. Mona sure. Lisa, yeah. Comparing those two, you're going to tell me Bishoy's shit on a canvas is not objectively worse? No. What? Not necessarily. There are, Guys, to an extent. Let me, let me tell you a story. Okay, let me tell you a story. About the time I shot <laughs> yes, and paid $2 As, million. Dollars I have so many points. So let me just get one of them out. Okay. I went to the AGO, right? I don't know if I told this story on here before, but I went to the AGO. You kind of just walk around. They have a couple old like people there that talk about paintings every now and then. This lady starts talking about this huge painting of like people slaughtering children. Okay. Um, it's like a, a biblical reference when um, the king at the time like heard Jesus was being born and he was like, oh, let me kill all the children. More of the story is just a painting of people slaughtering kids and parents trying to defend them. She's talking about the painting and she was like, yeah, um, this was donated by some guy who spent like $30 million on the painting. Right now, the painting is priceless, mainly because nobody wants to buy it. So this... The value of this painting is either $30 million or nothing or nothing or more than $30 million or like an, so much that you can't conceive a number. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So that's the entire point of art. No, wait, wait, that, you're, but no, you can but say that about anything. But okay, yeah. But you're looking no, no, at it you from can't. a perspective yeah. different no, from can't. what I think me and Bishoy were explaining. Because what I'm trying to say is like, okay, that painting, when you look at it, there's penmanship, there's skill they're behind it, right? Sure. Okay. What is the skill behind Bushoi popping a squat over a canvas? If Bushoi, then- if Bushoi could sit, stand there and explain to me the reasoning behind, like, the, if he is able to be as his way, like, you know, ironically, okay. be as his way. Okay, you think there are people that have it? good handwriting and bad handwriting? Yes. Okay, and it's subjective, or that is subjective. That's subjective right? as well. But you yourself can say yes. There's good yeah. handwriting. There's bad handwriting. Well, that's 
and it's based off by under, the understanding. Like when you go to read it, if I can understand it better, or if it looks pleasant to my eye. But it's some people, some people are like I would say cursive is very hard for me to understand. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, yeah. But I can't but it's read pleasant. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I can't read it. So there's clearly a level of skill that makes something objectively better. Listen, it's not about. I got you. I got you're in a corner. No, you're no, back. you're no, scared. No. Tail between your I legs. I am not. I am not. I will say that it is true that there is a level of penmanship or a level of artistic skill required to a painting, but there's also a level of like meaning that you're able to give behind the painting that makes it so much better than it actually is. Okay. Do you think that there's a level or a standard for art? No. Okay. That there you go. There's. You could frame anything and call it art okay that, that's i think the key difference here i think there is a standard for art like i don't i don't think the people who are taking a banana and taping it to a canvas yeah. and then selling it for two million dollars i don't think that's art that's i think art. that's th- no who are you to a say scam. it's a scam who are you to say no the irs no I'm, yes all those, all those works of art are just well people, i think I well think who's the irs to say no this isn't art the ones telling you that this was clearly made as a tax write-off it's just so simple i'm not i'm not I don't even know. How, how did this conversation start? No clue. Mumble rap? Mumble rap? No. Being ass? No. I have no... Yeah, I was talking Humor? Oh, humor oh, is subjective. because I was saying, can humor get worse? Yeah, um, yeah. Like, it's the same thing. You could have um, a stand-up comic in one city play a show, absolutely bomb. Everybody's booing him off the stage. He goes to a different city, does the exact same set, and people love him. Oh, mm-hmm. that that I completely understand. Like I agree with. Yeah, I agree. That but at mean- the same time, like, you, like when it comes to art, if I take a shit on a canvas, like no one in the world's gonna like that. <laughs> like you know That's what not I mean? True. Like, are you the way I'm thinking of it? You ha- more like when we listen to our music and our parents are like, "Yo, this shit is ass." The music we listened to back in the day was better. That's not true as well. No, not even That's- like it's just different opinions. Like sure, it is different. It's opinions. different, but I feel like there there is a like someone needs to have an opinion to a certain like. Like, I feel like there's this, uh, a level, a threshold that, like, no one cares until you kind of cross this threshold, and then people are going to have yeah. opinions. But about- if, if Bishoy makes his art, right, it's doo-doo, right, on a canvas, but he's able to convince somebody that this is art, or he's able to give a reason, he's like, bro. Then his sales pitch was the art, not the fucking but shit But that's on the part canvas. of art. Isn't that part of art? No. Part of art. You go to a gallery, and the, there's nothing there. It's just the, the canvas. No, but no, but that's a. There's different styles of art, mm. like contemporary art right now, or um, oh, what is it called? Uh, abstract. Oh, yeah. Abstract art is uh, so huge right now. It's like the big thing recently. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. people literally just like plop, like paint on a canvas and call it a art. And I would do the same thing at the AGO. There's a piece of art. It's literally some guy like slobbered black paint on a canvas with a little bit of gray paint. And then they have like that little blurb reading it. And he's talking about how the city life makes him feel so cramped. And he hates living in in this like such a condensed society. And he wants to be free. You look at the painting, it's black. But he's able to sell that as a piece of art. And the gallery bought it for millions of dollars. And put it up for people. If Bishoy could do that. The average person is going to look at that and say it's a load of shit. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I, I I think I have kind of like an idea of this i think i think for for something to be considered art i think your description of the art has the like it needs to be there right and it needs to be good but i also think that your art needs to in in some degree convey that message like i feel like if you have let's say i I put it absolutely like if i if i if i shit on a on a piece of paper right put it up and and let's say my piece of shit looks like something right let's say it looks like a guy walking uh on like the moon okay um it's still shit it's still on paper same thing right but i convey the message that this is how for example like my soul feels when i sleep at night or whatever i i like you know what i mean i give a story to it if 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 the person looking at it is able to now after reading my message is able to look at the art and see where i'm coming from then yeah i i think 100 percent. okay so but for me i think it's like okay like what if like if i just put a white canvas Actually, no, white canvas is pretty good because you could actually, with a fire description, you could... <laughs> with a yeah, fire you know, like, description, anything, yeah. yeah. With a fire description, you could sell anything. I think you just like a good sales pitch, bro. No, no but you get what I, I mean? Just... Like, I feel like you need to you need to be able to relate what the person is saying to that 
image. If they're if there's completely separate and you don't make that connection, then you're sitting there like what? Like what is guys, I went to a museum in Amsterdam and one of the art installations there was a couch. And like I don't <laughs> Can I show you guys a picture yeah, and then sure, you describe sure, it? Okay, sure. like tell me what you think this is because the meaning behind it was insane. And after I saw it, I was like, you know what? I could see it, but it's the most absurd thing ever and it works. I think that's the biggest part is that it works. This, what is it? What is this? A pussy. This looks like an octopus to me. This, this, is a, this, this is exactly what Mark said it is. It's a couch. Also, that's the asshole on the bottom. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. And it's in the shape of that. And the, if you read the description, it's all about woman empowerment. Okay, but that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. You could do that, such that absurd... to his point. Yeah, but yeah. you could do such absurd stuff as long as you're able... But it doesn't even have to be like, you know, like... Uh, you The or your key word you said, to a certain degree. That degree could be one degree and it'll work. It doesn't have to as be... As long a, as you can make a connection. But yeah. I feel like if... Like, I feel like... I don't even know. Like, I can't say for me, if people I think do it's this. effort. I think for me, it's effort. Effort? Like, you well, know what? There's well, effort behind that. Well, no, there's not even that. So, sometimes people make the effort in relating it into the into the, the description. Absolutely. But and I think Tekashi, that, that pays off okay, too. Somebody like 6ix9ine, Takashi 6ix9ine. Yeah. Okay, who literally goes about his song on an interview and says, yo, it was <laughs> shit. Like, I did not try. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. He literally full out says he didn't, like, put no effort. I listened to the song. I enjoy it. But I know it's bad. I know it's bad media. Yeah, like it's yeah. bad art. And he himself has also admitted it's low effort, right? My argument is like, do you think humor is going to get like that? Like, to me, that's how I view Gen Z humor. Like, it's such super low effort. It doesn't make sense. There's no rhyme or reason. It's, it's just like... It's popping, though. Everybody, I know. I think but, everybody is now is Gen Z. So, like, people are going to love it. More. I know, but I just... That's going to be their humor. I, I, feel know, like, I feel like part of the art is is the people following it. So like like sure even r- no matter how garbage how lazy, uh, let's say six nine songs were, like they were still bangers they still hit there were still li- a lot of listens and I feel like part of that is is the art is that the fact that a lot of people listen and they had different experiences with that song. I think it's like you know as a society we're evolving. We live in a society. We live in a society that evolves. Yeah. It's so simple, dude. A uh, big um, what's it called? Like big example, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. World renowned comedian. Yeah, like, yeah. Back in he back in the day, everybody's like Jerry Seinfeld is the back. I think this is back in like seventies, maybe like way or maybe eighties, somewhere around yeah, that. Like, oh, he's the greatest comedian of all. He time. was like the greatest comedian of all time. He actually had a special that came out a couple years ago, dude. It sucks. It's not that he changed. It's almost the exact same thing he was doing back in the day. It's just that it's not yeah. my type of humor at all. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, he, it's a Netflix special. Almost everybody on Netflix is not his audience at all. Mm-hmm. So every it stunk and every nobody liked it pretty much. Maybe there's like a few people that liked it. It's still art. Which people didn't like it. So people are always gonna evolve. Like we're always gonna be different. Yeah. Same yeah. thing with music. The music I liked a couple of years ago is not the same. Check mm-hmm. my Spotify mm-hmm. Wrapped. Like a complete difference. Yeah. From year to year. Yeah, yeah, but you could also. But you, I'm sure, have sometimes looked at your own taste in music back in the day and been like, "Damn." Yeah. Was, like, doing my my taste in music was ass. I do that. Or almost. there are people that you meet and you. T- say oh you have a bad taste in music well like it's like bad in, in my terms yeah you have a terrible taste in music in my terms not like shots at you nah. but, I, but I'm saying like oh this guy had listens to disgusting music That's, yeah. bro it's <laughs> I made fun of Nav I think in one, like a clip oh fuck Nav <laughs> like actually fuck Nav <laughs> Dude, I made fun of Nav, and all the comments were like, yo, Nav is so good. Uh, who yo, who the fuck is coming? Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, <laughs> my boy was like, yo, let's go to a Nav concert. Tickets $20. I said no. <laughs> For 20 bucks, I wouldn't go see the guy. Yeah. But everybody was like, yo, Nav is like so good. I listen to Nav. And I was like, dude, that's, you know what? That's your opinion. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you're entitled to your own wrong in, opinion. Yeah, you're entitled to your own opinion. I don't agree. Nav is yeah. like terrible. But I just think it's funny. Dude, last thing I want to go over. You could consider this even art. Do you guys know that? Do you guys follow that dog that predicts oh, yeah. playoff games? So yeah. there's a TikTok account. The dog is called Stefan Furry. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, I didn't even know that. That's, that's, that's <laughs> hilarious, by the way. Yeah, that's so good. That's so good. It's a little corgi. That. That What's happening? Oh, it's like... going to get to me. Yeah, yeah we're going to get to me. That's actually good humor, though. No, no, come, come. <laughs> 
Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> 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 Yo, bro. <laughs> oh, is this a circle we're trick? Just, we're we're yeah. trying to figure out the couch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the dog is called Stefan Furry on TikTok, I think. It's pretty much a small corgi. They put him up on the top of the stairs, and they have two baskets on the bottom of the stairs. One with... Uh, oh, I think I have seen this. Yeah, one has a one basket has like the Lakers logo. Another mm. one has the Warriors logo. And then they throw up a ball to the dog, and the dog hits it, and it falls into one of the baskets, and that's how they predict who's going to win the games. Um, so, so far, he's 5-0 and oh on the Lakers-Warriors series. Wow. Um, uh, I think he said the Warriors were like he said the Lakers are gonna go up three one, and then the Warriors are gonna come back and win in seven games. So they're gonna win three games in a row at the end of the series. Yeah. So far he's right, but it's so funny watching like the internet implode because the Warriors are gonna make this comeback and nobody wants it to happen, and they're going crazy. Um, but I just think this dog is onto something. I mean, he's I mean, been there's, wrong. There's always. Yeah, and I'm okay. Like, sure listen, he... you like I don't know why you're attacking the dog. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, the dog's a fucking idiot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, Yo, like, this is your god, bro. Yeah. Bro, I I go to this dog for anything, dude. Is my wife gonna divorce me? <laughs> Yo, but to be fair, this isn't the first time in Something history. Like that, yeah. yeah, there used to be an octopus who used to predict for like, a World Cup. Yeah, I, like I this is like that. the entire premise of the monkey yeah, theorem. Yeah. Is that yeah, like yeah. Th- this dog does it for every single game <laughs> of every single playoff series in all major sports? He's bound to get something right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so fun following it. Yeah. Yo, yeah, do you do you think the the I'm pretty sure the owners have a way of like fixing it. Like I feel like if it, like especially because so it's them predicting it. Bro, not even that. Like I think like let's say if I throw the ball up a little bit to the right, then like maybe he's more likely to get it into like whatever basket. That's like way too Yo, much. Try that with Toby, bro. And then yeah. we'll no, but you get what I mean. Like, way I too feel much like, analysis. I feel like it's so easy to to fix it. Mm. Like up to whatever I think. Like. But. Mm. Maybe with a little bit of... I think the like, dog is too, like... It's too much of a factor. But I feel like, like, let's say if you always throw it to the right and let's say he always lands the basket on the left. But you're never going to always throw it to the right and he's never... Well, I could purposely do it one time. Like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you could so. throw it on the right and he just hits it differently next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also a possible thing. But I follow him for the Leafs. Um, he said the Yo, Leafs... What he, what's he saying? Yeah. Uh, he said the Leafs... Well, to be honest, he's been he's wrong, wrong yeah. on every oh, single oh, game oh, so oh, far. Okay. Uh, but he did say the Leafs are going to win in seven. Okay. Actually, I think he said the Leafs are going to win in six, uh, which is not possible anymore. Okay. Yeah. Because they're already down three games. Nice. But I do believe the Leafs are going to win in seven against the Florida Panthers. Uh, it's Mark, not happening. Mark, word, Mark, Mark, my words. I am Mark. Mark and those Mark. are your words. <laughs> Mark, and those Mark, are your words. <laughs> Next week, when the Leafs lose, I'm going to be sad, but it'll be uh, quite interesting. But he said they're going to win the first series, which they did. They predicted the games wrong. Yeah, right? I think yeah. he got. He still got the winner. Mm. So I'll yeah, give so it. So in to this him. one where he's already wrong, but if you just kind of tweak it a little bit to fit your yeah. agenda, oh. he's right. He's right. Bro, my 100%. favorite saying, my favorite new saying: a broken clock is right twice a day. Um, a broken. Well, if it's a twenty-four hour clock, it's only right once a once day. Once a day. Yeah. What kind of twenty-four hour clock? Also, yeah. if it's a digital <laughs> clock, because nobody uses analog anymore, it's, oh. it's right zero times a day. No, like a clock you see <laughs> on a fucking wall. A clock you see unless on a wall. Stuck, unless it's stuck. Oh, on like that one specific yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says it's like twelve oh three. It's yeah. only right when There's it's also a situation where a broken digital clock that's stuck on one thing. Yeah. Is it, if it got stuck on a leap year on on the leap day. Oh, it's only it's gonna only be right once, once every, every four, four years. years. I mean, maybe why does it have the date? <laughs> I, I was gonna okay, say, maybe but who's the gonna light. buy a digital clock that doesn't also say the date? <laughs> I thought maybe it was gonna be the light that's a little tweaked. You know, it's like it's supposed to be, um, like you know, instead of sixty minutes, it goes up to like ninety for some reason, just because the lights are a little bit off. No, no, now you're going too far. So, what the fuck? Is now, it's, now it's never. Wrong. That's physically yeah, right. not possible. Bro. What? <laughs> that's physically. The, not. It's broken. Anything could happen. That's true. It's broken. And that <laughs> is art. That's actually my. I was about to say that. Uh, gonna fuck be my you next, guys, bro. That's gonna be my next art installation. It's gonna be a broken <laughs> no, clock that's no. right twenty four seven. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know. We're gonna a figure it clock out. That's gonna be. You're just gonna have person. arrows pointing everywhere. <gasps> wow. Is that not art? art. But that's... I'm never wrong. <laughs> that's going to be my description. Okay, but I'm you'd never... have to have a, uh, a hand at every single... like. Yeah, notch. yeah, yeah. It's essentially going to be a black circle in yeah. the thing. Yeah. And this is going to be, I'm right 24-7. Okay. What time is it? We're mm-hmm. all broken inside. And we all want to be right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we try Some our shit hardest. Like that. There you go. We created an art piece. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Done. We truly can. It's gonna, s- somebody's going to steal it. This We're is gonna so odd. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's sell this to the AGO. Yeah. To be honest, I actually thought that was pretty cool. 
I think it is pretty cool, but the fact that like we came up with this right now, I just think it's ass. I don't know why. <laughs> like I feel like it devalues it. The fact that we made it. Yo, up yo, yo. <laughs> what the hell? Bro? But I think the idea is actually we're, pretty sick. We're, like, we're yeah. so little that just us tying our names to it, it means it's devalued. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's not like a car. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think you are depressed. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I think you are depressed. <laughs> All right, so I, I you are. Circle back, bro. Yeah, yeah, we'll circle back. <laughs> wow, no, that's true. You can make the dog do anything you want mm-hmm. in terms of what you want it to say. That's it's true. It's like that dog. Wait, right? how did we come to that? We're we're circling the, back. We're, so we're circling oh, back to the dog. Okay. It's like that dog that presses the buttons and like pretends to talk. They just oh the depressed dog yeah Damn, we're circling we're so circling back, back. Oh, are you circles <laughs> oh my god every circle that we could have backed to we're back <laughs> life is a circle that's wow. true that's true bro that's super art like that's uh, super art <laughs> dude just, all right guys, super so art bro wait so are we now gonna circle back to the next episode yeah, yeah, yeah let's no, circle we're back to the uh, yeah. next episode we're gonna have to start it by saying we're circling, circling like, back to yeah. this episode yeah. and then not mention this episode ever again <laughs> <laughs> i hope we never mention this episode ever again <laughs> bro, <laughs> we can, i'm ending it man i'm ending uh, it yeah, yeah where can they find us uh you guys can find us on uh, the monkey theory podcast on uh, youtube instagram and tiktok and uh, uh new episodes every monday and uh we'll see you guys in the next one